see. Oh, you can see my screen, by the way, right? Yes, I do see your screen. Nice, uh, nice. Let me. Oh, how do I fix this? Is um, it um M M A? Yeah, yeah. Right, map right. production. Yeah. Map production. Oh, baby. So yeah, I I noticed you mentioned you like play Vayne. You were saying how um you feel like your team fighting is better than the other people in your rank, but you know maybe you're lacking in the other areas of the game, right? Is yes. that sound sound yes. about right? Yes. Nice. Also, cool, cool. wait, is it just me or is your screen like your your half screen right now, or or am I messing up with my Discord? Um, I, I it I, could I be like bugged because I'm full screen here. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see if I can. Fix you can that like there. reconnect. I think yeah, might yeah, fix it. Hello, hello. Hello. Any better? Uh, yes. Okay. There we go. Let's go. It's good now. Nice. Nice. Right. Nice. Nice. Yeah, All right. Cool. So, so, so here's my uh, the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it, as you can see, I, I didn't record most of these games. So if you scroll down, uh, the game that I that I recorded is uh, it's one of these wins somewhere, but it's 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 kind of far down. Let me see real quick what the. Damn, you love Vayne, dude. Yeah, basically just, just I, 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 I can play Triss, but as you can see, like it's not as quite quite on the same level. Um, mm. I don't remember exactly which game this was, but I, as you can see, I've been dealing with the support main, so like, I can do that. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I guess uh, let's get started. Do you have any other games, by the way, or is this the only one? Uh, this is the only one, but um, I was wondering if, if, like, if we have extra time, if we could look at... Uh, um, a bit of a replay f on the client side from one of the games to look at more oh. like macro oriented things. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, All right. uh, so, okay, to get started, when you see this lane, right? When you press tab, yeah, yes. when you're in a champ select, when yes. you load in, what what do you see in the spot lane? All right, no junglers, so, nothing so else. I see, okay, so I see that their Tarek has ignite. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I gotta watch for out for the all in potential of their of their following um and it's staying against kate so kate will zone me harass me and basically make my life a hell but right. we have a small advantage in that lulu can shit on Tarek in lane if she's playing it like properly and she can give me some of the the, the pressure in lane to like farm safely and right. if we have like if they if they if they make mistakes so like Vayne versus kate right everyone says kate is like a counter to Vayne, but it's really like a delicate balance because I played both sides of the matchup a lot, and if Kate like messes up, she just she, she she's fucked, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, so like make sure to take advantage of like any mistakes she makes, basically, and hit the Tarek for free when when possible. So in this lane matchup, uh, after you've said all that, what do you want to do in this lane? Well, right? Okay, so. But so so I I want to try to get level two before them. Uh, which means that preferably as short at the least as possible because uh, Bane and Lulu have a really strong level two and if we can get it before them, we can take a good trade and relieve a lot of the early pressure of our lane. Sounds like a good early plan. What about after that? You know, the pre-six era. Pre -six after the era. level two, um, right. get it or don't get it. What do you want to do after? Like, how do you win this lane? Or rather, how do you like get what you want out of this lane? So what I want is to never die in this lane and try to be down only like ten or so CS by the time like like by ten minutes or so. Uh, that would be winning for me or going right. So we have because we, yeah, Vayne is like oh condition. weak in lane, Kalen's strong in lane. So the goal is to you know come out slightly losing or even right, right and then right. you know if you're ahead they're gonna forfeit or something right. So yeah. Uh, uh, now now the real question like the the question so it's good that you know. You know kind of what you want right you know what you want you want to you know that lane is kind of hard you know that depending on lulu um you may or may not be able to win trades or poke mm -hmm. and you know that they're going to push you in right yes. um so in order to now now we figured out these two pieces right you have like the beginning piece and you have like the ending piece right you know uh what these guys do and you know what you want but like um how exactly you're going to do it right so if you say i want to trade with caitlin when can you do that Right? Wow. Is it like uh, no matter what, you can't get hit by stun, right? So that means you can't shouldn't say stun. you have to be specific. So like you say something like, "Oh, um, no matter what, I save my Q for so target stun." Exactly. Yes, I, right. I do. I do do that. I do do. That. Okay. Good. 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 Right. Stuff like that. And then and then because of that, and then if you try and like dodge Caitlyn Q with your Q, and then you get hit by yes. stun, that yes, would be exactly. like uh, so it's tragedy. To the Caitlyn Q and dodge the stun with my Q. Yeah. 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 Exactly. 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 Uh, because we know in this land that if you get hit by the stun. 
Ah, uh, you're gonna be sad. Get, get, right. To get trapped and right. get headshot. And, and so, is there anything? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with using tumble here? Uh, from what we just discussed. Yes, because it 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 makes me uh, not have it for a, a potential like favorable trade on Tarek when he walks up here. Right, right, right. Exactly. You really you really can't do anything. And then it's like the argument is we want to push, right? We want right. level two first. Yeah, but realistically push, speaking, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna get it because Caitlyn already queued the wave. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you you don't know if like she's gonna. It's, it's like those reasons, and then you say like, oh, Tarek's just gonna you know what's it called? Um, targets it right, yeah. and then me. Maybe Lulu knows to hit the minions or not, but it looks like she's busy trying to harass, right? So yes. realistically speaking, um, it could be medium risk for a low reward. Yes, but I don't think that's too big of a problem since you knew that you wanted to push, right? So you, at least you had a you had a, you kind of had the idea, and it it didn't it didn't it didn't it didn't really have too too much of an outcome, so um, too much of a downside. But so yeah, you always have to be very cautious about stuff like that because um, stuff like that can definitely lead into. Uh, tragedy <laughs> yeah so i got, I got sure. that auto off but like it didn't really, it doesn't really matter because he's just gonna heal it up anyway i'll say it's good pressure right yeah. Um, yeah, every, every auto matters so right 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 exactly so i want to say it's completely useless but like that like right that that, that one would be like um maybe yeah. maybe yeah, it, 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 you have to make sure i didn't miss the cannon but yeah like i, I would kind of just <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and not right, right. it's it's very good um it's it's a common thing players will do they say, oh, in order to get this cannon, guarantee it, oh. I'm going to use an ability. Yeah, but that's yeah. kind of like a, a trap, right? Yeah, because exactly. yeah. um, I, I play like, you see how my, my other like most played champion is Victor, right? So his mm -hmm. Q is also kind of like the same idea. Like, like you, you, It's a big burst of damage for a low cooldown, low mana ability. But it still like gives up lane pressure when you use it. So Right, exactly. It's like, that's and, just, and yeah. you should be able to like, like auto attack it and last yeah, it, right? Exactly, so. Exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, one thing I've noticed so far is uh, you really want to hold on to your abilities um, yes. for your maximum value for sure, right? And Absolutely. this is so far looking good because you're pushing them in um, yeah. when you're not supposed to. So that's really good. Um, the fact that she's not hitting you is yeah. great. It's because I can do that whatever the hell you want. Push a little bit earlier, so I made sure to. And, and the the, the, the is actually doing a pretty good job of like poking them. Yeah, this Tarek and Kaylin don't know what they want to do. Oh, this guy's yeah, gonna die. You gotta so, come down. So, so, yeah, so so here, so here, she kind of, kind of, kind of, uh, yeah, that made me a little bit sad. But uh, like, how? Maybe I could have saved her by eating Tarek away when she, he went for that. But okay, hold up. So you say you want to eat Tarek away when you go for this. So there's two ways to stop and engage. If you have counter engage, right? What are the yeah. two ways? So we go on Kaylin, or we like. Like she gets out. Um, I, I so yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost close, right? So the first one is very obvious, right? You yeah. focus on the damage dealers because yeah, yeah. if you get caught by engage and then they don't get damage while they're CC, you're, yeah. it's good. You're fine. Yeah. And then the second one is you counter the engage, right? Yeah. So say this is Alistar or or you, this is just Tarek and you said you're going to condemn him, right? Yeah. To make it so the stun doesn't land. That's right. another way. But right. as we know that the second way is never going to work in this case. The second way only is like almost always going to work when he's aiming you. Right, because uh, yeah. otherwise you'd have to be standing on top of her, and that's usually not a good idea. Right. Um, so always aim. You always aim for if you need a, if you need a help. You always like uh, uh, go for like the obvious the obvious counter, right? Which is just push her away. This is just so bad. You just gotta run, right? She's gonna you, just get shot, yeah, like, right? Like she's dead no matter what here, basically. Like right, right, right. Like so that, your only that, choice yeah. is just like just uh, get out. yeah, yeah. So unfortunate. But it's kind of a uh, the, yeah. the kind of like it's just uh, what happens. Yeah. So here, yeah, here, yeah. here I save Q. Like here, you, you notice that I'm saving Q for that. But mm. I should have queued at an angle, so I wouldn't have had to blow fast. I, I realized this when I was watching it. Like yeah, 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 for sure. Angle, because uh, it, it if you just queue, yeah, if you just exactly. in a straight line, exactly. it's just gonna yeah. hit you, you anyway. If I queue like in an angle in either direction, preferably towards the, the brush, so Caitlyn's mm. farther away from me. Mm. I get a free auto off on him. I get my Warlord's proc for extra speed and. Without having to blow flash. So that was that was like unfortunate, right? It's like yeah, yeah. kind of hard for you to recover from that. But now, now that all that's happened, what do you want to do now? So now we're behind. Uh, I think they got. Carrot got one kill. Caitlyn got. Oh no! Only Lulu died. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I think Terra got the kill actually. So I'm not that far behind, but I know that I'm gonna be a little bit behind now. So here, I think okay, I'm at 764 gold. She's gonna push this into me. It's a cannon wave, which means I don't have a cannon wave for two more waves. So I, I want to get, I want to try to uh, farm to eight seventy five here on this wave and freeze it outside of my tower before I back. 
So I have like my pickaxe and I'm not that far behind in items and interesting. Right. But how do you First, stop her from just like oh, zoning from, you like this? Zoning. Okay, well here yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I allow myself I, I just get zoned because like I can't I can't step off the farm, but I just stay in XP range, so I don't fall behind XP. Or I try to stay in XP range. I would say, you know, maybe it might be a good idea to just back, right? Just back. Because when we see this go down, yes. how much time do you have before uh, they can push into your tower? For her to kill this wave, well, there's still some minions on the other side. So I would say we have around 25 seconds. Yeah, you have a long time, right? You you pretty much have enough time to back and come back, and then okay. But like, uh, if I back now, what would I get? I would get like a call plus boost, right? Yeah, you get or you get like cold dagger. I'll probably get like cold dagger or something. I don't know, but think, um, okay, so you need to get some. The, the 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 important thing is here to note is that you should recognize you literally cannot do anything. Okay. Right? Yeah. So let's say let's say she doesn't touch any minions. Let's say she only last hits. What do you do? You can't do anything. You can't, and then you're like, oh yeah. wait, I have to back because she's literally just last hitting, That's right? right. Well, so if you try and contest, right. they run you down. If okay. you don't contest, they build up five waves and then they like back for free, and then right. they push. Yeah, you're just losing like a shit ton of minions, right? So there's, so in these kind of situations where it's like, um, there's nothing you can do, you should you should just definitely right. back, right? Because this is this is punishable. This is very punishable, right? Right. Um, because if they jump their ganks like from five bush or something, I'm just. Like right, kill. right. Like, yeah, you say he has he has flash and you don't, right? That's an indicator for flash, getting yeah. dying exactly. to a gang, stuff like yeah. that. So, um, try and this, so so far, uh, you have to always like consider um after something happens, right? So after your gank goes wrong, after your gank works, after a fight breaks out, after anything has happened, you mm -hmm. want to ask yourself what do I want to do next, right? It, and then it, yeah. you figure out whether or not this works based on um, like what you see, what you learn, right. and like what you experience, right? So here I'm just, it's just from my experience, um, you definitely want it back because there's yeah. nothing you can do. So uh, um, what, my thought, I actually, I do, I do do that actually. And so what I thought here is that she would just, she would push it in, literally get here. They would try to get their back off because I feel like this is like her BF sword timing r r roughly because she got a kill maybe. So if she backs on this, I can get a little freeze. I can pick up the wave under tower. So I, I, I guess the outcome was okay here, but okay, there I, I just went full like... Yeah, it's kind of awkward. You know. uh... Yes. <laughs> but let's see, see if, if I had just backed, right, I would have lost maybe like most of this wave, right? Okay, let's count. So if you back and come back to land, how long does that take? It's like 8 seconds plus like... So eight that's seconds like 25 plus seconds. 25, or something uh, like that. It takes like 20 seconds to walk the lane, right? Yeah, or 18. Some, yeah, yeah like it's that. 28 seconds, sure. 20 so you back now, 28 seconds is like, oh, right. like 44. It takes 25 seconds to push it in, right? 20 seconds? Okay, so that means the tower hits them for 8 seconds, which means... Okay, I guess only the cannon dies. And I would actually get all the minions. And I'd right, be right. Which, it's just... Yeah, it's just... There's just no way. And like the tower's going to be hitting the cannon wave. There's just no way that... You can yeah. stay here. That's um, true. That, that, that is, so I should have just back. Yeah, I, I if you just know, compare, exactly. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, you're just not gonna get anything. Um, so and then and then if you that's that's when if she pushes and then if she doesn't push, you're so even more like screwed. I don't lose much. I don't lose much because yeah. if she doesn't push, like it'll, it'll slow push into me because of the, the the size of the wave on their side. So I would lose even less. Yeah. All right. So I should just back. Right. Yeah. Basically, if you can't do basically, um, the kind of story we're seeing here is that. Uh, you want to be able to provide as much pressure for your team as possible, right? Got it. That's yeah. the kind of yeah, underlying yeah, theme right. so far. Because every time you use Q, Lulu cannot go for a trade, right? Um, every time Lulu Qs off into the distance, that's like you can't trade, right? Yes. Um, and then uh, the the obvious example I give is like if you are playing five v five and your Malphite whiffs his ultimate, right? Yes. Your team backs off because your Malphite has no ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same kind of theory, right? Um, having no HP is another uh, kind of not having enough pressure, usually speaking, right? Yes. Sometimes if you're Zed and you have like 50 HP and you have all your abilities up, you know, you have some sort of pressure, but uh, for AD carries, usually not really, right? Um, so in this case... Uh, right, right, right now, she dictates how the lane goes, but if I back and come back with, a, with, with like, think by coming back with Lulu, we would have an item health advantage, mana advantage, and we, and we could actually like... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically, you just honestly, you just want your, you just need HP to do something, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here they're gonna back. You basically want to back when she backs, cause uh, yeah, it's not I really wanna, much. I, I want to back here for sure, cause like right now I, I have a good back timing. Um, but so, here so you lose six minions six. if you back. Yeah, but, lose minions, um, so, like, she, since she's not backing and she's low HP. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, this I, is good to stay. Yeah, right, good to this stay is now. good to stay. Um, I agree. Um. 
What is going on? Cause, Something's cause, over there. Kate's like losing a bunch of HP, I guess, to Lulu. Like, just, yeah. So that, that uh, one thing good. to remember about the uh, before landing stuff we talked about is yes. they have more sustain, right? Yes. Theoretically speaking, with the Tarika heal. Yes. So any kind of trade you take, um, you want a really good trade, yes. right? Yes. So in reality, uh, you guys don't really want to trade. You guys want to all in, and in the all in, you need to dodge a Tarik stun, right? That's the yes. kind of um, idea behind this lane. So and we saw Sejuani use her sweeper on the on the thing. Yeah, there, yeah. So. so you know, you know, jungle's down here. So yeah, again, I guess I mean you know by now, but uh, definitely don't use your tumble to get these minions unless you literally don't need it for how long is the cooldown? Like uh, four, four seconds. seconds. Unless you don't need it for four seconds, that's like a long time, right? Yeah. Um, so be very careful about that, right? right. Uh, be very careful about yeah, that. I've noticed so. too, like sometimes like because I spam tumble so much that when I get my alt right, I. Like I awkwardly, I, I all and I don't, I don't, I forget my alt cost like, like, something like, eighty or ninety mana rank one, and um, I don't, I don't have mana to stealth that for it. So it's just really awkward. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's pretty. You press R and then you're like, wait a minute, why can't I, why can't I tumble? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's always, that's always mega awkward. Wow, yeah, you guys are in a really good position now because yeah, she's yeah, just yeah. getting poked so hard that Tarik can't even keep. Wait, yeah. she has a potion. What is she doing? The the Caitlyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she yeah, should yeah. Play, take it. I'm not really sure what's going on, but this is a good this is a good situation because you're even slash slightly losing. You're 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 even slash winning now, but yeah. um, this is what you guys want. This is the end result. Um, how we get there is uh, yeah, kind of kind of uh, what we talked yes. about already. But and, and this here, is the he, yeah, okay. This little bit is interesting. So I missed those two minions, and that was annoying. But that's yeah, that's whatever. Um, here, here I pinged her, but I, I didn't mean to like go on her. I, I just went to the poker under tower. But Lulu gets stunned oh, up under tower. And, that's awkward. Yeah. This is kind of one of those, like, um. Well, you gotta respect, like, it's like trying to harass Blitz Crank or Thrash under tower. Like, you just don't really do it. Unless, it's, like, it's fine to go for something like this, right? Yeah. When you say, uh, we're not actually trying to kill her, we're just trying to apply pressure, which is what yeah. you're doing. But then you also have to be like, um, what are they gonna do next, right? Yeah. Okay, this is kind of awkward because your Lulu's kind of killing herself, but, yeah, yeah. um, uh, in other any in any other game, it's like, uh, what is he gonna do? How is he gonna react? He's gonna try to stun you under tower. Exactly. If this is blitz, what is he gonna do? Pull you under tower. Yeah. If he's gonna, if he's thresh, what is he gonna do? If he's Alistar, what is he gonna do? Right? It's not. It's all the same. It's all the same. Um. So make sure that when you go for that, you know what the I, I support. I can communicate to, to my support that I'm just because I, I I can get out because I have tumble. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, um, but she can't like just stand there. Right? He yeah. kind of died, but you can. You know, if your plan is to do something like that, you can always say like. You know, maybe I need to condemn Tarek, but uh, honestly, I wouldn't fault you too much for this. Um, I wouldn't fault you too much for Lulu's last two deaths, to be honest. So yeah, 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 uh, don't really I, worry I, about that, yeah, unless I, 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 this I'm happens every like, game. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. The support that I do with now is actually a much better player, and uh, I appreciate her a lot. So nice. We're okay, really so yeah. But anyway, so I was, I was gonna show you one of those games later, but yeah, let's, let's let's keep going through this because like I think this is a really good example of like of my play so far. Like bad laning, kind of. So, so I, I would say lending's too poor. It's just like, uh, make sure you remember about the tumble thing, right? Basically, yeah, just yeah. don't use it. Yeah. Um, unless uh, it's used for one of the things we talked about. And the only thing we talked about is dodging Tarek's stun in this lane, right? So yeah, exactly. uh, you need to have specific uses for it always, yeah. right? Exactly. Um, otherwise, yeah. so you don't... In, in other lanes, against more passive supports, like Janna or Sarak or whatever, like, I like to queue at an angle. Like, I, I like to get into training stance, hit the enemy ADC, queue at, at an angle, like away from the Soraka and then get the second auto. And, and that's really hard to out-trade that because the Q got buffed, right? So at mm. level one, it does like a bunch of damage. So like if you if you can now play the Soraka Q or something, like something like that, you really win a lot of trades really easily. But right, Q, right, good, right. That's exactly, that's like a good example of knowing when, exactly when you want to use the Q. And then, and then you say, if you don't use, if you use your Q and it didn't apply to any of the things that you wanted, then that's always, a mistake, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 and you, you know it's a mistake. Mana, you, you, you waste pressure, yeah. So this is one of those. This is one of those things where we talked about where it's like, what do you want to do now? When you see something like this go down, you have to always update your plan, right? Because your plan before was we're gonna try and pressure Caitlyn under the tower, um, and then someone like messed up or something surprising happened, whatever, right? Maybe you succeeded. What now? So what's the plan now? So uh, Kate's actually really low here. So what? It, it's, but they're both six. So I mean, there's a world in which I like. Like go go into one of the, the, the one of the the the, 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 
go into one of Deepwatch's spot and like maybe try to cheese or with my alt. So, so like that would get that's a kill, but that's a very high 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 variance play because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um, I see Warwick on, on the bot side, so I could ping him and tell him to come here and help me shove it under, under tower. Uh, Wait, hold up. Why do you need him to shove it under tower? Uh, I, I can't out push Kate plus Tarek, I don't think. Well, didn't you say she has like no HP, no mana, right? That's so true. how does how does she yeah. push? How does she way? counter push? Okay. Right. Uh, I guess she doesn't, so maybe I'm wrong there. Right. So when I, when I see this, my first instinct is uh, I can do whatever I want as long as I dodge Tarek's stun with my Q, right? True. And then they can't touch me, right? Yes. So she hits you, you hit her, she dies first. Yeah. Because <laughs> she has like 100 mana. Okay, yeah. so you guys are doing that shit, and then Tark stuns you. Oh, you press Q, you still win, right? So, yeah. um, that's that's like uh uh, that's how you can like kind of figure out whether or not they can. Yeah, okay, uh, so, so I can do whatever. I, so, so what do I want to do here? Like, I, I, do, do I want to push it in and back, or because like, um, there's a couple of options, right? Like, I can kind of pseudo all in here, but she still has flash, she still has heal. Right, you, you're right. There are a few options here. Um, one of them was what you said. You can you know maybe look for like a bush kind of cheese. Or yeah. you know, hope you know maybe they'll greed for another wave. I don't think they'll do that because yeah, so she has no HP. Wave, I can right. get Warwick to come down here and kill her, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but there, there's no way they're gonna do that because they're gonna be like, oh, TF fault, and your Warwick can't do anything because he has no ult, right? So, right. Right, um, TF fault. yeah, that's that, yeah, like you said, high variance play. So I, I was like, that would be on low on my uh, things I want to do, right? Right. So, um, the idea is you want to create as much pressure as possible, right? You want to be as useful to your team as possible. Right, um, so in any capacity, I, I can stay until like she backs here, basically. Right. So, um, you just basically make make her stay as long as possible because the longer this happens, the better it is for you because you're right, staying. Exactly. Right. Because I, I get more gold and like I have a better like mid game power spike compared to her. Right. 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 And then and then not only that, uh, since you're pushing them in, oh, maybe you pressure them so much they can get dealt by TF, right? Right, right? Or Warwick, or maybe they're so scared to leave their tower after you push them in. Warwick solo's dragon, right? So right. it's the the kind of underlying theme behind uh your play so far is i want to see you make pressure more pressure i, I, I see right. what you mean because um, here, here actually what, one thing that I, that I might have considered like before what you said is like let her auto it and push it but like stay like near tower fake back and then freeze the wave outside and, and then back but that would not create the pressure right like, that would right just... it's not it's not creating pressure right so um when you want to do something like that, that's saying like you want to be super defensive, or you're saying I want to kill you on this on this wave because we have like a gank coming, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to do neither of those things, right? That's right. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have like flash up, which you're gonna have flash up soon, or when you're in the stronger position, right? When yeah. you're playing a stupid lane like Callista Thresh, you always want to be pushing, right? Yeah, you want to yeah. be like you want to bait their jungler to come. You yeah. want to push them on the tower. You want to gain a CS lead, take the tower, whatever, any of those things. Yeah. So here, um, here I, I, I roamed up at first because I saw. Warwick was invading. I wanted to p- p- protect him and like follow up if he gets like if he fights Sijuani or something in that side. I can be there first. Um, and then 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 I noticed my, my my mid lane was getting ganked by their top laner, so I come to mid to catch the wave. Um, um I would say you want to still be bot, right? So okay, uh, so you said okay, so when I see this, you're like, oh, you want to push them in? Sure, go do something. Um, yeah, alternatively, right. you can be like hitting them, right? Because what is their response when you hit them? They can't really do that much. Right, they target stun is the only thing that happens. Yeah, and yeah. we already know that they can't hit you if you have your Q, right? So uh, I would say you want to pressure them on the tower. But this can also be another response too, right? You say another, not response, but option, right? You say, okay, right. I want to help my Warwick. Uh, he doesn't need help. You should go when he fights someone. Um, yeah. When he spots someone, that's when you go. Um, yeah. That way you can apply pressure until that happens, right? right? And then you say, oh, okay, something's going on mid. Maybe you go help. Um, but the instant this guy right. dies, you don't want to do that anymore, right? Okay. Because uh, this is going to be not in your favor. Um, unless, unless like, Rengar... Yeah, I don't, I don't think that there's just anything you can do here, right? right. What, what, basically, any everything you want to do needs to be consistent, right? Like you say, um, you kind of were hesitant about the bush play because of his high variance. This right. is very... This is, like, this is like nothing's going to happen here, right? Right. Well, I, I catch a couple of, of creeps. So. Yeah, yeah, but you can do that bot and be pressuring their tower and be hitting right. them at the same time. And then right. Warwick right. can even pressure the die, right? So it's like... Right. Um, oh, true, true. Yeah. Or you don't want to be mid here, um, for sure, right? And then if someone, if you, if your team really wanted to catch this, is the jungler's jungler goes, right? Oh, yeah, because you want, you have 2,000 gold. Yeah, um, I lose all of tempo by doing this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You, you use your 
this is your window of opportunity to do something and you didn't get anything done basically yeah exactly. so um it's good that you're like oh my jungle's invading so i want to go help but one thing to note is that like uh, as a general rule you go when uh he needs help and yeah. not until then right yeah. it's like uh it's, it's like uh five people doing dragon late game when they're not trying to contest it you yeah, know you guys could be doing something else yeah, and exactly, then exactly. 80 carrying jungle can do it or something like that right yeah. send the minimum amount of people um otherwise you're sending too many resources yeah. uh this kind of idea is basically like um stay bot unless something is happening within one lane's distance right which yeah. which something did happen but uh they they exploded so you couldn't yeah. help basically um so yeah so you, you kind of lost a lot of time here um yeah. I, I get like 100 gold from the minions but that wasn't worth the tempo that i lost spot lane see like yeah I, exactly I, I lost like almost the same not down here for that play so right, right and then and then it's like whenever people ask yo i'm like winning but i can't convert that into the win uh how do i do that that's how you do that you you pressure until they make a mistake right yeah. so if you're hitting them like over and over again because they didn't know that they couldn't stun you since you had your q that's like oh 300 free 200 damage which means oh maybe they're in dive range now right something right, like that right. or you hit the tower and you say um oh it we're gonna be taking your tower so they get desperate yeah. so they send a jungler and then you win the 3v3 right something like that um you need to create adv these advantages for yourself by creating pressure um holding on to abilities one way to create like passive pressure you know yeah. making it so they have to be scared um pushing your advantage is another way right yeah, so which is what, what do you think do? about this buy that i did here with because I, I like this buy a lot against stuff like like eric blitz thrash Keep yeah this this is fine quickly yeah right you like boots because you want to dodge that shit and that's fine yeah. um as a okay so right it's honestly less about the yeah. builds and more about how you play okay. right? this was really bad yeah i was gonna say what was wrong here uh well i know that their jungler is on tail because just the dragon so um I should just walk away and so, con con condemn like so here here I see Terra going for that. So what I do here is okay, well if I were to go for the condemn on Kate, I would eat the Sichuani ult. So it's unclear what the correct thing to do actually. But So the so if you don't know what to do, you have to play conservative, right? Because this is you, you said yourself, you didn't really know what the correct play is, quote unquote right correct, or rather yeah. good. So if you use like all your abilities, then you definitely can't make the correct play, right? Because you have nothing yeah. left. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you want to hold on to as many cards as you can. Right. Like right. cards being like, uh, you know, your uh, HP, your abilities, whatever, your mm -hmm. summer spells. Um, you want to hold that in reserve until you can until you can find the correct play, right? Right now you don't know. Right? Yeah. My first so, instinct is like, okay, if they do this, then like Kate is a free kill. But the, the, like right, it, as soon as like that thought comes in, like I also know they just did dragon, so and I know that their jungle is there, so we gotta like get out somehow, and uh, so maybe the correct play was to just like right after Tarek flash stuns the Lulu and ignites her, just condemn him away, and wait wait why him though? Why him? Because yeah. Remember the uh, two ways we talked about stopping true, and engage? True. Like you, you, can, you can turn on the damage dealer or you can like get like uh push away the engage in the first place. Right. This engage already went through, right? You can't so, there's nothing to push because his yeah. stun's already gone. But, and I can't turn on the damage dealer here because it's a two v three with my Lulu like about to be dead. Right, right. So you wait and then if they if he walks in into condemn range, you just push him away, right? And you, then you mean the Caitlyn? You mean yeah, yeah, yeah the Caitlyn, uh, right? Because yeah, Tarek's not anything like Tarek after he stuns, he's just a uh, melee creep basically. Like right, no he has no value, and you can't stop his ult really, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like uh, but basically the we can we can like talk about this all day, but the underlying um kind of idea behind it is save your abilities if you have save no idea, abilities. right? Yeah. If you have no idea and you use something, that's a mistake, right? Right. So say um. You're you want to, playing. You want to have as much counterplay as possible. Yeah, you're on pressure. pressure. Yeah, you're on yeah. pressure. You need the pressure, um, in order to make them scared. You can do something, right? So if Caitlyn sees all this shit go down, she's like, "We can't lose because they have nothing and left for me." Just used right? alt and yeah, yeah, and exactly. Then now she has, um, she's just the walking minion. Literally can't do anything, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then because all this whatever is going down, Olaf kind of cancels TP, right? Yeah. So it's like there are repercussions to. Not, not only is making a good play really good for your team, right? Uh, making a subpar play 
or making mistakes kind of impacts the map in a way yes. that's kind of unexpected, right? Because yeah, um, us, us losing Lulu all and me losing Flash like gives up pressure on, on, on the map. Right, 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 and especially when they like did it pretty poorly, you could have gone away with like almost nothing, right? Yeah, um, yeah maybe yeah. like Lulu flash. And I was like, well, not bad. Lulu wouldn't have died there because Sejuani missed her all like in the first place. So, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, then it's if just Lulu like needed to do anything, she could just alter herself and walk out. Like, that's... yeah, exactly, exactly. They it's like let them kind of you know, uh, skewer themselves on like bad plays. Yeah, uh, exactly. Just make sure that everything you do is like um, clean, so to speak, right? Yeah. Uh, because it's like, oh, the res- the outcome of the first 11 minutes of the game is what we wanted from the beginning right we say oh we want to go even or uh slightly losing right and that's good for us um but in reality so far uh you could have had much more right Um, because i I feel like like we played better than them but we just had lulu like get caught twice so yeah you you had to you had to um like exploit their mistakes basically right should have been up a lot more against me but I was able yeah. to mitigate that with the help of Lulu, of course. Like she, she did a lot of work this lane. I'm not going to deny that. But um, like, so, what's wrong with this picture here? Also, uh, we can talk about this too. What's wrong with this picture here? So, uh, let's see. Lulu's low on mana. Um, I don't have alt. They both have. Tarek and Kate have all their cooldowns. Uh, Lulu put her shield on herself. Is the real turn the picture? So, do you want to fight or not? Is the question. No, 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 I yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Fight. It's you need to yeah, yeah, one, just, one good thing. Better. Yeah, yeah. One thing to recognize in league is that um, you want to be able to know when you want to fight and when you don't want to fight, right? right, right. So, even if you watch these challenger games on like people's streams, you'll see people trying to like fight without alts or fight when they have people splitting. Um, some stupid shit like that. Don't do that, right? Yeah, because yeah. guarantee loss, right? Yeah. There's. Yeah, like, like, yeah, no world players. where you get anything here. Right? Exactly. Um, what's Lulu, what's the best thing you can get? Uh, an auto attack. Well, not I mean like a Q auto on Caitlyn, but if yeah. I use my Q here, Tarek you can me. you can maybe win a trade, right? Yeah. Um, and then what's the worst thing that could happen? I die. Yeah, everyone gets you get double kill and lose tower, right? So it's like yeah. uh, the risk versus reward is insanely yeah. there's nothing to uh, do here. Yeah. disproportionate. There's just nothing to get, right? So if you fight like this, it's like uh, uh, be very careful, right? Because um, even though you guys like won the trade, you know, uh, it, it was because they were bad r- rather than because it was a good idea. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a good idea. Yeah, not a good yeah. idea, right? Like, where's the jungle, right? Where's the mid? Yeah. yeah um, exactly. Do they have TP ward? I have no idea about any of these things, right? Uh, um, yeah. The, the jungle so, went back because, but. Sidrani, so right? Like, how do you know she went back? How do you like when I see this picture? I have no idea, right? Um, uh, okay, so the assumption was she just like m- missed all bot lane and wasted some time. She doesn't have all backup yet. There's no right, problem. right. But that's a trap because that, what if they're just hiding, she, she hiding in a bush? Bush gank me. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, exactly. We, some we, stupid we, shit we, like that. We've all yeah. seen it, right? Yeah, um, yeah, someone got, sits top for twenty so minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. In my last, um, in the last game last night that I lost, like we got cheese so hard by it. Exactly. Exactly. And I was just like, um, fuck me, I'm done with this game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that's how like kind of like how you prevent that stuff from happening. You need to recognize when you want to fight, right? Yeah. So when, when so that leads us to the question: When do you want to fight? I want to fight when well, Lulu has that banner for her full rotation plus, like ideally an extra E, um, which is I think her lowest cooldown spell. Um, so uh, we can we can win the trade. Uh, think I wanna, on like a bigger scale, big uh, scale. Uh, I want to fight when I know where they're jumping. So I have all Lulu. Okay. Has all, Make sure uh, you have even numbers or more people, right? Yeah. And then what's another big thing? Uh, if we're stronger in items than them, like, okay, like, that's that's like half. That's like half a reason. If, What's if, like a bigger if we, reason? If we can win the fight, right? But oh, oh, oh if, if there's a reason to fight, like if we can get something out of it, right? That like, too. That's like a lesser. Re- that's like a fourth of a reason. Uh, yeah. it's more like, do you have ultimates and summoner spells, right? Ultimate summoner, right? Um, they have an, an advantage there, right? You want at least you want at least the same amount of alts and summoners, right? right. Otherwise, you're at a disadvantage, right? So right. you want to so fight when K- you're at an K- advantage. Alt doesn't matter that much like, this is true this is true right her alt is almost uh, a non-factor unless you guys fail it all in and she ults someone right yeah um so we can wor- we can really not really worry about that too much yeah. but um you want to recognize that your strongest point is when your ultimate is up yes. and when you have flash right yes. and heal right so um if you have neither of those things right. uh can be dicey to try and make something happen yes. right so the safe course of action is you know small trades look to push um 
do things where you know the outcome is good, right? Yeah. Only do something where you know the outcome is good, right? So when you tumble in forward, what's wrong? The terror cast W up. Right, he could have he could have just he could have instantly turned around and stunned you, right? Um, if he was watching for your tumble, right? If he says if she tumbles forward, I'm gonna stun her. You would have you would have died, right? How do you oh. die? Uh, stun yeah. into Kate auto trap Kate auto, auto QE, trap. right? I was, she yeah. throws a bunch of shit at you and you die, right? So. Yeah. Um, Watch out for that, for sure, right? Save your abilities, wait, wait, basically. I don't, I don't think I tumbled there, did I? I, I, I saved tumble until... Wait, hold on, let me, let me watch this. So I... Oh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Uh, but I, I thought mean, you like tumbled in here for like a... I, I, I saw... Oh, yeah, that was a tumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Right, but as soon as I tumbled, I, I also walked back because I was expecting Tarek might exploit that, right? So mm, mm. I, I think it would have been okay there, even if he went for me, because I have more movement speed than him. I have boots two, he has boots one. As long as you have a plan in mind, yeah, I don't, so that's that good. As long as you have a reasoning, right? Say you can even say I'm gonna condemn him, right? I'm gonna use yeah. tumble, bait him into E, and then condemn him, right? That could be another reasoning. Okay, but yeah, then it's like really a bad. that was just bad. Really so it's bad. awkward. Okay, so let's examine this. Well, right, well, what so did I do here? so I dodged his W, so I thought I was I was I was in good shape. But and here, okay, okay, so here I'm way too far Whew! away from Lulu. Like I think Lulu was trying to back out because she had no mana, which I didn't realize, and I was going in. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, yeah, so that, that was, that was bad. this is so um, bad. you dodged his stun, right? right. Uh, um, here, here, I won the trade. And I should, like, right, right here is where I should have off. I should have tumbled like away, then to the left instead. Whoa, of hold up! Why do we tumble at all? Right? What's the tumble used for? Right? What are the the thing you said was dodge his stun? Dodge right? Character, you so dodge what's Q. secondary after you dodge his stun? What else can you dodge? Dodge Caitlyn Q. Dodge Caitlyn E. Right, right, right. So if uh. You use tumble for that's not any of those reasons, um, and then you you can add on a third thing. Say use tumble to kill someone, or use right. tumble uh, when there. they have no abilities, whatever, anything like that. Yeah. But uh, you need the big dodge. You need to use it for something, right? Yeah. Target something, right? So if you're playing Varus, when do you use your E? When you have two or three stacks of your autos on him. Right. You have to say I want one stack, two stack, three stacks, whatever. It doesn't matter. Three, four stacks even sometimes, right? And then if you use it for anything else that doesn't involve that. Or maybe you say, oh, I'm going to use it to make sure they can't run away, right? Yeah. So those two reasons. If you use it for anything that's not those two reasons, that's like a mistake, right? Yeah. So um, it's the same idea right here, right? Yeah. Using abilities for anything other than what you come up with beforehand is a mistake, right? Because it's just like it's just like fighting randomly, basically. Yeah. Um, and it'll never, even if you had won this fight, um, it wouldn't have made you a better player, right? No, You're like, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, even if they um, messed up and, and, we, and we killed them, like it was the wrong decision. Better players will punish you, right? Exactly, exactly. You you want to make sure that um, it's everything you do is like according to plan. Yeah. Right? So like, like the Caitlyn saw that I queued and she eat me. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's the only reason that you lost this. If you had, if you just auto these guys and then you dodge her Q, right? You can even get hit by the net. That's fine. You dodge the Q, um, they lose this trade and then you can so you can threaten the dive, right? Okay. Um, so oh, oh, her, oh yeah because she maxes cues for that, that's yeah exactly the net is fine right unless it's like then then you say only only for now right and then you say oh at six items getting hit by the net is not fine right yeah, because yeah. that's gonna be a <laughs> crit headshot so watch out for that um so yeah you need a basically the 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 basically every fight is like you need to save your abilities um for these specific moments right yeah, these specific the, like, reasons yeah and one of the things like that was really bad about that tumble is that like I didn't have it up to like get myself out via RQ to like. To <laughs> yeah, like yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so. uh, the alts, you kind of like lowered the. You had no pressure with your invisibility, right? Yeah. You couldn't reposition for Kadam. You couldn't run away. It was, yeah, you it could, was we could just, go on and on. But basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to in order to prevent any any other kind of mistake like this, not just on Vayne, but like anything, yeah. right, yeah. is save it for specific reasons. And that's how you can notice when to punish them, right? Yes. If they use an ability, and you think that it was not for a good reason, right? So Tarek used E to like try and push. And you're like, oh shit, I can fight them now. Uh, that's how you punish. Right? You recognize that that's not what he wanted to do um, at, this, in the matchup. Is this, is this E the shield? Say again? Is this, is this E the shield? I know his Q is a heal. And his W is the stun. Is the um, e, yeah, he's, he's the like put the thing on someone, I think. I'm not really sure. I haven't played Tarek in. Some shield thing, yeah. I've not played rework Tarek, unfortunately. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here, okay, now I have to think, we lost okay. our, what's next, right? Here we go, yes, exactly, what's next? You always have to ask yourself what's yeah, next, so, right? So what I was thinking is, okay, our mid laner is TF, and TF Lulu can actually maybe hold a siege against them. So what I want to do is uh, keep pushing in Wade's spot so that Caitlyn or someone has to come down to pick up the waves. 
um, mm -hmm. while TF and Lulu wait clear mid. Um, I know that the Rengar has been really strong, so I actually probably cannot just free farm bot because he'll come down and kill me over and over, um, which you might see soon. Um, so how does Rengar? How does Rengar kill you? He jumps on you, right? And he, he just throws a bunch of shit in your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah like, I, there's a world in which, like, if he's not super fed, I can I can one go on him. But he's gotten like four kills on the Olaf top, and there's no way I can kill him yet. So I have to uh, farm under my tower, and even then, he, he might be able to dive me. So um, I I feel like I, I want to bounce the wave back to me, right? So this is what we do here: we bounce the wave, and I want to farm it safely at some point, right? Basically, um, like, there's I'm... no way to kind of farm it safely, right? There's no, uh, you almost never want to freeze in the bot side unless you're like mega desperate, right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And you're not, you're not mega desperate, right? right. Uh, mega desperate would be like 0 and 5, and you're playing like scaling champion, and you're like, yeah. okay, guys, you're gonna have to 4v5 for like 10 minutes while I. Yeah, yeah that, farm that, that, that's just really bad. Okay, so, right, here, so here, here, I should not have ulted immediately. Right, right, I, right. I should have waited to see if the Warwick. Uh, Oh, landed and then right, right, right. Landed, yeah. And not, not only that, um, you guys also don't know where Sidrani is. Yeah, yeah this and, is just a really bad play. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of questionable, right? Yeah. Um, remember, everything you do, you want to be consistent, right? Yes. Every kind of play you make is consistent because if you try and do something and it doesn't work, um, the the word the best case scenario is oh you lose some tempo and that's still pretty bad right yeah. uh, the worst case scenario is someone dies something goes wrong you, you or you can like waste your ult yeah, right exactly. so um, not having ult means that uh, you can no longer pressure this two v two bot right because right. you said yourself um, once we get out of lane my mid game is stronger than Caitlyn um, and in order to utilize that we need to pressure her right yeah. so you're pushing but no, bot not, but yeah, not anymore now because she got four kills because yeah yeah and especially since you don't have ult right so say yeah. you guys are even or whatever it's still Still yeah. can't do much. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I'm sliding uh, behind, like my ult will give me enough, like mm. bats, whatever it takes. Exactly, me. exactly. Um, <laughs> but so not, yeah, uh, not, at this point, probably not because I have a BF sword. She has a IE and Zeal, so it's like yeah, you you probably don't want to fight. But yeah. um, be very careful about changing your plan, right? You, you said change your plan. You want you want to draw someone bot, right? Yeah, yeah. is what you wanted. Um, and then you change that into like. You change community. that into okay. We want to get words in, right? Yeah. Um, and then once you got words in, and you see them pushing bot, um, you change it to what? Go, go bot and like keep them there. Right, right. That's what I would do. I would say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pushing bot. I'm gonna contain them bot. I'm gonna see if I can go for an all in by dodging Tarek E, right? And then we hit the closest guy, and then we win the trade. Yeah. And that's good but for us. I looked at Caitlyn's items, and I was like, okay, I, I, we, I don't think we can even land against them because. Okay, yes. that's fine. And then, okay, then shot. you say oh, you say you wanted mid. maybe we'll look for something mid, right? Yeah. Uh, but there's uh, nothing mid if they don't go first, right? So yeah. don't use anything. When in doubt, you don't use abilities, right? Yeah. So all this decision making is not that bad, but the decision to use to stuff this, yes. without knowing what's gonna happen is kind of yeah. uh, try and try and not do that. <laughs> so so uh, actually, like I think the play was okay in that like Warwick can use his alt to blow the flash. Um, and like his alt for, for, for Jace's flash is fine, but like me using my cooldowns here when I'm behind is just right, 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 exactly. Like it doesn't matter what these guys do, it literally yeah. doesn't matter what these guys do. It depends, yeah. like, I can't, we, I can't control them, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So make sure that uh, you don't make the mistakes, right? So, yeah. uh, like, to me, I was just like, oh, TF should have ulted, but it didn't matter, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what they do, you, sh you should not ult, right. Unless yeah. you guys needed the damage to, right, right. Uh, the, the, kill. Like right. we actually could have probably gotten that kill if uh, Gif like went behind his tower and then ulted behind the Jace, mm. and then CC chained him. But right, 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 exactly. Um, so once you know that, you say anything that's not that play we do not want, right? Yes. So then you know you don't want to go in there if yeah. Warwick shows because that's yeah. not smart, right? Because so it's mid, yeah. So yeah, so, Warwick, so they're they're three v three mid, and I catch the wave. And then Warwick goes top, Warwick and goes then. Top. So yeah. alone. I this is kind of the the fallout of losing bot is that um their bot lane is mid right uh, and uh, it's kind I mean, of awkward they're like warwick's actually pretty strong because he, he's been getting shut down kills on the rengar so i i, I believe in them to hold mid I, I right, right, right. This. I, I was um, they can't really hold mid but uh you it, it, it almost doesn't matter if you're there right yeah, like, i i can't do anything about there because i'm like i'm vain i'm single target I'm yeah range. Like, I can't agreed yeah. so I just do um this. So you just you basically trade as much as possible. They're just gonna take tower. Yeah, um, they're gonna get both towers here actually. 
Yeah, yeah. So you trade as much as possible. You take this right. tower. So, right? so I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I looked at this. I, I like. I looked at that. Here, so I'm just gonna push the mm. Yeah. Mm. Seems good to me. And then, uh, can they stop you? Uh, doesn't look like it is there. You can see everyone. Right? Zengar died, and then the other four are mid. So. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so once you take this tower, what's the plan, right? Uh, so it depends. Oh. It, depends it depends on what they do. I should, I should react to that. Right? Here's a side note. Um, yes. when pushing down towers or getting tower damage, don't touch anything else. Unless you like are last hitting, right? Um, yeah. because uh, what was that four or five auto attacks? Yeah, that's yeah. that's uh, three hundred fifty damage on the tower, right? Yeah. Um, so that delays your push by quite a bit, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, so be so careful with that. I can last right? hit like with that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but don't like uh only only last hit is what I'm saying. It, yeah, uh, got it, got it. Sometimes don't even last hit, um, if you're really desperate on time. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, be careful about that. But uh, so they come for you. Here, I saw this. Yeah, so I actually got out like. Kind of okay, so here I flashed the laser, but like when I wa when I re rewatched this, I could have killed Caitlyn. Really? Uh, w w w How? Uh, so so I, I didn't have mana, but I had I had enough mana for w w for two stealths, right? Right, and so, then uh, what uh, about I, her team or what about her net? Yeah, yeah, so if I can dodge her net with my second Q, right? If, if, I, if I if I Q out of the thing and. Like I got out here, which is I had to blow flow flash, but like I have a Q and a flash to dodge her net, and once I kill her, Lulu would probably be close enough to help me with Sejuani, maybe. So maybe I should have gone for that. Nah, if you can't figure it out during the yeah, in I, I in the game time, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had heal coming up, so like maybe I could have. For for what it's worth, I don't think it's uh really possible for that, right? Okay. So so you um, think I played that like? like you play that you play that correctly, in my yeah. opinion. Um. That was good, right? Uh, I, got, I got out. I didn't die. I blew fast, but like... You yeah. got what you wanted, right? What was the plan? You wanted to take the tower while they were pushing mid. So and, that was and, right. And then survive afterwards. Right? Yeah. Do not change your plan unless something significant happens, right? Like if Caitlyn came into lane with 100 HP. That's significant. Yeah. Um, so do not change your plan unless something significant happens. Okay, so you guys are doing this. That's good. Um, I, I probably didn't need to be here. Okay. That's fine. Honestly, if you're in doubt, when in doubt, you help, right? When, yeah. when in doubt, you go for the safe play. Um, and then coming bot is good, yeah. right? You want to push this out, and then you want to base, yeah. Um, because you have no kill pressure yeah. without ult. Yeah, I'm so, no, I have no mana. I can't e. Like, I, I, even yeah. if I had ult, I wouldn't be able to ult. So it's like pointless to, to anything. Right. Here. So so right. far, um, the I think what's holding you back the most is the abilities thing, right? Using yeah. your abilities where for like exactly what you wanted, right? So yeah. getting away from that game was really good, right? You say, oh, I want to use my abilities to get the invisible, and then I'm just gonna flash away. Sure, um, that was that was good. I don't know if you planned that. You should, but well, yeah, um, that is why. Like, I I knew I could get a kid away from that. Well, I thought I had mana for E, but I'm glad I didn't because if I had mana for E, I wouldn't have had the second Q, and mm -hmm. that, and that mm -hmm. might have gotten like. In so make sure that when you use your abilities, yeah. it's for the exact reasons you tell yourself before. Using. Any kind of fight starts, yeah. right? Um, so you, we'll see that later on because like there will be some like team fighting and stuff. So here, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. here I see bot lanes pushing. They're not doing anything mid lane. War was catching top lane, so I just farm the jungle. I think this is okay. Yeah. Um, you can get you guys can like do something if someone shows up bot. Uh, oh yeah, okay, this ranger is dead. Oh, this is free. Oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, this is free. TFO. TTF is all thing here. And yeah, nice. It's free. Um, and then uh, we you guys push just push top, top right? Yeah. Seems good. Um, they're gonna try and defend, and then oh, hold up, oh, why are we oh, backing? Oh, oh, here, 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 I actually make a shot. I say, ooh, that's can't awkward. See, okay, can't, probably can't siege against KJ. So once you get something, right? Okay, so you know how we're talking about um, you always want to have a plan, and then yeah. when something happens, you change that plan, right? Yeah. So when you're losing and something happens, you want to minimize the loss, yeah. right? Um, so if you ever watch, uh, I don't know, this is a long time ago, but this is the example I always use is TSM versus Gigabyte Marines in, at MSI. Yes. Um, Gigabyte Marines took Baron, uh, TSM needs to minimize the, uh, the fallout. So yes. they say, oh, camp this bush, he's going to ward, we're going to kill him and stall out the Baron. It just, that they, they did that like three times. Oh, um, okay. that'd be like a plan. They, yeah. that's the, that's, they updated their plan after something happened, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. um, when you're winning, right? Uh, in Gigabyte Marine's eyes, when they're winning, they take Baron. What's the plan now? Oh, we, we can push because we have the Baron buff, right? Yeah. So uh, you update your plan. So when you win something, you want to look to get as much as you can, yeah. right? So once you've won something here, you guys got a free kill. What's the most you can get right now? 
maybe top tower, but that's a bit, it could be risky because we, we blew Warwick out, we blew TF out, Warwick and TF are half mana. Um, I don't have flash, I have like, it's, uh, okay, so uh, like in terms of gold on the map, we could maybe get their top jungle or something, but I, I felt like um, sieging there would, because I see Caitlyn's like on her way to defend, right? And I know the others are, are, are there on top side as well. So, like, Kate cues the wave, J Jace EQs it, and our siege is gone. And agree, all the agree. four of us are just standing top lane, doing nothing. Sieging wow. is questionable because yeah. you can't get anything. But so, what if you okay, well, push? We make a pick on, yeah, because they're, they're rotating, right? And we're, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If I hadn't, like, walked back inside the base here, we could have set up, like, a pick in the jungle, which could have right, led right. to, like, their top side jungle, to top, 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 uh, top tower, and, like, good vision in the Baron side of the jungle. Like exactly players, yeah. exactly the best the best you can get is right is what you said is you can get some gold advantage right you're getting the push in into the wave right you push someone comes to defend and then you want to find this pick slash take all their shit in the jungle right yeah, yeah. and then if they try and fight you what happens well we i have all lucas all uh um how do you know how do you know you win right off the bat unless um uh, there's something well, like it's, it's five v four Exactly. Oh, so uh, well, usually, all, all, all like, base. and I think he has DP though. So yeah. It, right, right. But say you say at this point when you guys got this pick and you spam pinged the top the side tower, and then you yeah. spam pinged the jungle, he's not gonna back, right? Oh, well, that, there's a chance oh, that he's he gonna that. cancel okay. his back. Right? Oh yeah, 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 So yeah, yeah. this this is kind of like if you ever if ever you ever see people ask oh challenger players oh how guys how can you guys get like 43 wins and zero losses or some shit like that? It's because we are like making our team do something like this or we're trying right. to tell our team that. An opportunity exists, right? right? Once you get something, what's the most you can get, right? Um, so, so here we, we could have like we could have five man made a jungle and gotten like, right, right. right. Uh, you can just take everything, and if they try and stop you, you kill, kill them, them and then take more towers, right? Yeah. yeah so um, basically, it's the same concept as before, except on a bigger scale, right? So right. Oh, when yeah, you and, were and, and also what was something after that is that Rengar is the, by far the most fed member on their team because he's been killing killing uh, Olaf a bunch of times. So without him. The gold deficit really isn't that much of a of a, of a, of a, of a, of a deficit, so we would actually right, right. Really, really easily beat them. Yeah. Um, and then random shit like this happens when we right. don't so, do that, right? So like the Olaf and I went back, but right. the other three stayed. And if we had stayed, all three of them would be dead. We get the top tower. We might we might even be able to get like a twenty minute Baron, uh, depending on how long it takes to kill them. So exactly, exactly. And then and then uh the the other side to this is if you say if you if you think that you can't do this, right? What do you do? Am you back ping, right? You spam right, back ping. Right, you say right. you back back now, right? Well, I, I, I typed like in the chat as you can see there. Right, so. right, right, but no one, no one reads. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, they don't read it. Like when when they're like pushing or doing some shit like that, they're like, uh, they might recognize it, but like back ping is like very clear and immediate. Okay, like, okay. like get out, right? Yeah. Um, it's similar to how um, a jungle can say I'm coming mid. But then yeah. the middle laner is like, oh, wait, I didn't know. Versus yeah, yeah, yeah. he spam pings forward, and then right. the middle laner knows, right? So, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so yeah. if Olaf and I had stayed for this, we would like, we, we, yeah, we it's pretty, destroy it's pretty free, yeah. right? They're just, they're just all going to die, right? Because Warwick is, is, is really strong, and we had, we, we had Lulu off to keep him, like, alive. Oh, my course. God. This is this is going, this is actually going in your favor. Um, yeah, because Warwick is so oh strong. Oh, my. Huh. Yeah, like, like, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's 4v3, so of course, yeah, right? Even though Warwick is super strong, you play that well, it didn't matter, right? Because yeah. mana advantage, yeah, right? Mana advantage, Whenever yeah. you have mana advantage, um, unless there's something significant to counter your mana advantage, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, something so, so, like yeah, a. So, so here, I, I look at them and I know that there's no point in fighting. So he, I, I criticize myself really heavily for this because instead of, instead of like farming mid and getting gold and whatever, I like just walk around doing nothing, and that's really bad. Like, well, coming to see if you can help, I think is fine, right? Well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but like, I, I, I realized that like we were down a man, the war was dead, and we couldn't. There's no way like our TF and Lulu are running away. Like the best that can happen if I go is that like we turn on someone that's that's, that's chasing too hard. But, right, right, right. I think that's so I, I think that's fine to look for, honestly, yeah. right? Making sure that um you can look for you can you can put yourself in a position where if they make a mistake you can punish. That's good, right? I think that was perfectly fine, right? I would have done okay, that if, okay. if I were you, sure. right? All right. All it's right. the before when it was like uh, uh, the reasons why you want to back. You gotta have a, uh, yeah, yeah. you need to push your advantage basically. Yeah. When you find an advantage, um, figure out how to convert it into a bigger advantage, uh, and then when you yes. make a mistake, 
how do you minimize the right. impact right so if you waste tumble on land how do you minimize the fallout uh, you, walk back. yeah exactly you wait until you have tumble back right yeah. don't even try and farm or anything yeah okay, um, so this is gonna be awkward because uh you can win this actually right yeah. so well, how do you win against a ranger I, I like at this point i can't because he's too strong but i, I what I, what i can consider is going close to the wall and when he jumps on me uh, right, right, right. Um, away and, and that's exactly what I would do. Um, yeah. he's there's no way he wins, right? You just yeah, kill so, so ass. He, here he like I, I walk towards my TF because I know TF. Yeah. Gold that's good. So. That's good. And then he kills himself here, so we just <laughs> there. Um, yeah, don't. Yeah, exactly. See, what he did is uh just like randomly fighting, right? He yeah. uses abilities. He just he didn't know what the outcome was. He just he just goes in. Oh, he died, and then he, yeah. he loses Baron, right? So well, okay, they they should lose Baron, but we'll, watch what happens. Yeah, this, this was so sad. I think we would have won the game a lot. Like this, this video, instead of being 37 minutes, we've probably been like 20 something minutes. So if you're afraid of a steal from Sejuani, how do you stop that? Uh, we stop DPS and the Baron at around 2k. We were to come in, kill. everyone turns on her at once, kill her, and then finish Baron. What if she stays outside here? Uh, then, um, well, we, 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 we should stop, right? Or There's okay, so we, several we, there are several we, options. Take the fifty fifty. I think Warwick's a higher level. So wait for him to have smite. I then... mean, you you can take the fifty fifty, but you can improve those odds. Oh, okay. Right? Uh, By I doing can ask Lulu to ward over the walls, so like when the Baron's low, I can condemn her away. Exactly. So get the yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. The instant that Baron gets to one k ish, you condemn her as she's coming in. Boom! You guys get the free Baron. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then you're good to go. Um. Yeah. And then, uh, what else can you do? What else can I do? Um, to improve this Baron, whatever. So, so something that, like, just me that I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just you. You can't do it now because uh, you don't have a ward, but yeah, that kind of gives it away. So, okay, so suppose I had a ward, I could ward over the wall. Right? Oh, pink ward, pink ward. Pink ward. Oh, pink ward the pit, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like they're, the chances uh, of them stealing oh, are extremely yeah, low. That's right. That's right? right. Because HP, yeah. when they ward over it, everyone stops, kills the ward, and then resumes, right? Or something right. like that, right? Um, so, oh the my god! Oh, it was a Jace steal! steal. Yeah, yeah, oh my steal. god. Okay, so how do you prevent a Jace steal? Everyone sits and blocks the Jace hole. Well, but that's, Body okay. In that case, uh, he should have he should have smited it, but uh, oh, it could have been a Sejuani. He didn't right? have smite. He didn't have smite. Yeah. Oh, you definitely don't do it then, right? You, yeah. You, yeah, that's awkward. Um, that's kind of awkward. We worry about this less than we worry about the other stuff we talked about so far, yeah. in my opinion. Um, yeah, don't worry yeah, about yeah, that yeah. shit. It's just, it's um, just whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. Uh, so that is something you can work on, like Baron plays or Dragon plays or Objective plays. But uh, for the most part, I think what you need to focus on is the usage of abilities, right? Yeah. Um, it seems that your usage of abilities when you're being reactive is some usually good, right? Except for that one time. Uh, you like used all and like condemned Tarek and all whatever. Um, yeah. But the times when you were fighting Rengar or you're escaping from Kaylin yeah. and Sidrani, that was like really clean. Right? That was yeah. really good. Um, but every time you try and make something happen, yeah. uh, maybe you want to uh, so make I, sure so it's actually, planned actually, out. Yeah, become more comfortable walking out. Yeah, you're gonna die here because you have no mana. That's yeah, awkward. I die here. I should have. I should have tumbled. I should just walk so I could like. Con Okay, well, well actually, how can you survive here? There's a way to survive. Uh, it's just heal flash away or something. Flash yeah, away. something like that. But honestly, um, saving summoners. I felt like because because we would be like maybe fighting them soon, so like maybe I should just hold on to my summoners as long as I'll die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're you're just dead there. Yeah, I know yeah. at this HP, there, there's a big risk of me getting one shot by just the crit alone from his ult. So like, like this doesn't be, even uh this doesn't even have to be Rengar, right? This could be like anyone else. It could be like Sejuani or some shit. I don't know. Well, but Sejuani um, couldn't kill me, but. Rengar, like under tower, when I have flash and heal, I don't think he kill me. But yeah, yeah, but it's about pressure, right? So say Sejuani doesn't kill you, but they're top, and then you say, "Oh, I'm afraid they might kill me under tower." So you have the base, and then they like keep pushing or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But basically, you need a reset here, right? Yeah, so after absolutely. something happens, what do you want to do, right? After something happens, what do you want to do? You you always need to ask yourself this question. It doesn't matter what this something is, right? Yeah. So they steal Baron. What's next, right? If you had gotten Baron, you still need to do the same kind of right. uh, mental exercise. Baron, yeah, I. Probably actually would have done like roughly the same thing because I I see that that, that that no one's gonna farm our jungle camp so I might as well pick up the gold there, get closer to my, um, yeah. But then then, then like after that I try to see each other team. Or yeah, yeah. Um. So what is going on here? You missed the ult. Unless you can blow this dude up, you guys might want to stop. You can blow them up. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> this was a really bad play though. Cause so so go back a little bit. Like oh okay. The, 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 so Vanguard ults and and hit Lulu. And 
Yeah, it's pretty awkward. Yeah, so Lulu didn't alter herself because she's trying to save her for a teammate. That's fine. I mean, this uh, solo queue is gonna happen, right? I tried to heal her, but I was both. Oh, uh, I, I eat this Sejuani all. Oh, uh, that's awkward. Yeah, so you guys lose. We, we lose this really hard. So. Yeah, that's awkward. Like, uh, so what could you have done better in this uh, in this team fight? Don't, don't tumble right into the Rengar. Heal, like, peel back. Try to say, keep Lulu alive because she's really important. Uh, well, I think I think I think that was fine, right? You needed you guys needed the damage to kill him, right? Okay. So Shit. tumbling in to join this when okay. they are not in range. So okay, so before this fight happens, presumably we say we're gonna use our tumble for this. We're gonna use our condemn for this, right? Okay. So um, I would I would want to use tumble to dodge um, two key abilities, uh, Sejuani all and Terror W. Right, uh, and then. Or, or maybe even you can throw in like other stuff like Jace, EQ, Kalen EQ, EQ yeah. um, anything like that, right? We're getting yeah. to the point where we can uh, yeah. sometimes would, use it for that. Right. And I would condemn like um, the Jace like melee EQ on me or something. Right. Or or sometimes, you know, a better thing can come up and you save it, right? But yeah. Yeah. borderline is that um, you have specific reasons for these abilities, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so then like sometimes Q for damage, right? Which is what you did. Um, but then after that, it's like... Uh, uh, I see the all coming. I can just flash. Like just flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or you can say like, uh, you see him coming. You just like, uh, you can or do he, like, like alt uh, tumble yeah. or alt something tumble, like that. Like, like and, uh, diagonally, like towards Caitlyn, kind of. So right, right. Can, the the Olaf will go in and, and tank their damage, and I can like kill people. But you have to have something, right? You need to come up yeah, with something. Yeah. Um, is the is the underlying <laughs> underlying concept? Honestly, this is just like, uh, kind of awkward because you guys lost Baron. So um, yeah. and also like a team comp issue too. But um. Our team comps actually. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I don't know. The, the rank are top like. Are... This is like pretty monkey. I'm not gonna lie, right? Um, they walk in, target calls, and then Kalen kills front line. Everyone loses, right? So yeah. <laughs> it's kind of kind of awkward, but we don't worry about that either, right? Yeah, we just so worry about we just, how yeah, we play. Yeah. Um, Inhibitor's gonna be gone, and that's fine. Mm, mm. So basically, this game is like um, you need they, like they, they, four they items be, yeah. or I, I, something. I, I'm gonna get the like I need to get like four items before I can do things basically. Right, you're gonna need like a QSS for like surround yeah, yeah. um, stuff like so, that. So here, like, I have to think about building either Fam Dancer or Rapid Fire Cannon. And I think, okay, Jace and Rengar are gonna be doing a butt ton of damage to me, so I should get PD um, one to kill them faster, and two to get the damage reduction. Because if they don't one shot me, I kill them. Right? I think that's fine. Right, that's a fine choice to get. Right, um, and then you say, oh, do I need QSS now or do I need it like later? Right. Um, up to you. I'd probably so get it sooner than I, later. I was looking at. I had to look at whether my Lulu was putting Mikhail's. I don't think she. Did. I mean, even if she gets Mikhail's, I'm not gonna be like Lulu. You're gonna have the Mikhail's to sit around you all. That's not gonna happen. Let's be honest. Okay. Um, if the you, man, if you, like, I would trust my current duo to, to do that. But yeah, some random. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so but I wouldn't depend so on here, it. So here, I'm just like, I'm just. There's nothing you can do. You're dead, right? Yeah, um, I, I shouldn't have like uh, when I saw the Lulu get. I should just let her die and walk back from my base. Right? Like here, like, here, here, like just walk away like, immediately. Don't don't go for the condemn. Just walk away, right? And right, just... exactly. And then um, there's actually several things here, right? So you can say she's dead or not. You can try and go for a save attempt or not. But um, remember that everything you need to save your abilities for specific use that you outline, right? Yes. And every time you don't do that is uh. A throw, right? A mistake. Yeah. And yes, then mistake. every time something happens, you update your plan. This is two things in one. So those are like the kind of two big things, two big things we talked about um, so far, right? And uh, they're both in this, right? So after he dies, you guys want to run like hell. You can't fight, right? Yeah, can't and then uh, once, you know, people are trying to fight you, you need to say use your abilities for specific reasons, right? Um, so if you do this and you want to fight him, um, that is one thing, See, right? If, if and I it can had, work. If I, if I had condemned still, I, I could have maybe made something happen here. But this is not possible, right? You not, condemn into the wall, take him to half HP, he flashes over, you lose. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Um, so this is kind of the after something happens, what do I do? And you want to run away. I know. Um, I and then you see this. Can I win if I use my ultimate here? And if you say yes, then you go for it, right? But yeah. you can't. Um, the one we want under tower, possibly, but like they have three people over the wall, so it's like. Yeah, no it's just not possible, right? Um, yeah. I can yeah. think of like four different things that can go wrong um, yeah. if you go for that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like uh, after something happens, what do you want to do? And then uh, have your abilities for specific reasons, right? So you yeah. say my ultimate, I'm going to get a killer and assist, right? Yeah. Um, so if you did not recognize a killer assist there, um, then you can't use it, right? Yeah. Something like that. 
Yeah. Or you're gonna use it to bait, uh, make them dive on you with Sidroni ult, and you yeah. go invisible, right? Yeah. Um, specific reasons though. Anything that's not that, right? The yeah. your four deaths can be like attributed. So basically, everything in this game can be attributed to those kind of two things, except for the Baron, uh, which is really unfortunate. But don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, and the Lulu dying, sure, that's not really your fault either. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, but everything else so far is yeah. kind of related to those two concepts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is your plan, right? And then once something happens, you need to update that plan. And then every time you use an ability, it has to be something you outlined beforehand, right? If you yeah. do something on instinct, if you do something reactively, um, it doesn't work out. Or it does work out, it doesn't matter because you didn't get better from it, right? It right. didn't help you get better. Um, the way you get better at like mechanics is uh, knowing exactly what you want to do and then executing it, right? Yeah. So say yeah. Yeah. you so want to do... The, yeah. the thing with... Um like seeing it in your head before it happens like yes yes exactly visualization, visualization. exactly exactly say you oh, i want to condemn flash you mess up the condemn flash but the fact that you knew you wanted to do it is the first step right yeah, exactly um, it's the intention um, yeah yeah basically like the guy who can do it but didn't plan for it he can't replicate that right yeah. he can't like he can't set that up right yeah, okay so this here, is awkward here, here i i just like straight up ate the thing like I, we blow everything fast daily but i just die i think I, it's still possible to win though right Maybe I should I should just keep auto him. Like I'm not gonna avoid any of the damage coming. But I should try to do as much damage as I can while like alive. I guess. Oh, this is so awkward. Cause you yeah. use tumble. I use tumble. But you didn't dodge it. Alt. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Tumble alt. without. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So I think you know this yeah, is just I, like a mechanics thing, I, I right? I know that this like tower is just a really bad one to defense. I, I think it's less mechanic. Like after this is one y'all hit, I was just like basically screwed. So pretty rip, right? Yeah. Um. One thing to note, it's like honestly, Vayne is like a really hard champion. So, like, the things I want to talk about are, like, like really advanced, but this is kind of, like, how much damage do they have, is the question. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have Jace coming around. They have Sejuani here. Olaf is going to zone Kate away. So it's right, basically right. just Sejuani, Jace. So you don't care if she ults you, right? You should be like, oh, if she ults me, that's fine. I'm going to invisible tumble after, right? So yeah. that's, like, that's but kind I, of how I, you can I, set I, up I your... Away from the, as you saw there, but I didn't have enough of an angle. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but not only that, it's like uh, recognizing situations when you can like tank abilities, for example, right? Yeah, it's so like you, okay, this I, doesn't I, this I, isn't insta kill, yeah. right? If, so yeah, if, if I just tank that under tower, like instead of like tumbling away towards Jace, I may have actually been able to. Speak. You would have won. You would have won, yeah. right? Hands down, right? So what happens is that uh, they hit you and they like, come in. Yeah. yeah. And then he, she, she doesn't even have to exhaust. What you do is just, uh, you hit him, and then he, he dies. Right? You don't even have to use abilities, yeah, like right? Yeah, it's me and Lulu. <laughs> just, just straight up. I just, I just have to auto the uh, here. Yeah, this guy, and it's fine. But don't oh, worry about this, like because something, this know. is kind of like, um, we just need to worry about the stuff beforehand, right? Yeah. More so than the stuff now. Um, this is it's still kind of similar. Like, this is kind of... We, we're already in a situation where it's like super hard to win so yeah. the, the idea is don't put ourselves in a situation in the first place because the concepts yeah. are still the same right so i don't know what this is this is like random fighting um yeah, you to... are just trying to catch up right trying to get as the, scale the... as much as possible yeah. um in these team fights it's like uh it's not your job to bait out stuff unless you have a qss yeah. um th in... getting seen. Yeah, yeah your job is just like wait and then hit the closest guy right and then yeah. you win um or maybe you don't win because they're too far ahead. But yeah. your job is just wait, hit the closest guy, and then when you see the play in your head, right? Like you said, visualization. When you when you can visualize when you can use these abilities to maximum effect, that's when you use it, right? So uh, when you saw that Jace, you visualize you could just like run him down with your ultimate. Uh, remember that four v five is very scary, so don't for, don't go for that. But uh, if it was five v five, for example, maybe that could have been a good play. Um, right. But you need to visualize Ooh, it first, yeah. right? So. Um, okay. That's your so, kind of. So here kind of they overchase into the jungle like like, like monkeys. Um, oh, this is free then, right? Uh, actually, Rengar could kill you, so that could be bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so I, so here I actually played this well. So just just watch this real quick. Oh baby, right? What yeah. specific condemn use? Use it when the Rengar comes out, right? That, out. Yeah. And it is fucking clean, right? Nothing they yeah. could do. Um, yeah. that's yeah. exactly what we want for thirty as, minutes. As soon as as so, I, I actually save my for when the Rengar appears, so that the only damage you can get off on me is his crit auto attack. Yeah, that was fucking sick. Yeah, yeah holy shit. Exactly <laughs> shows up, so. Dude, it's clean. It's clean, right? So if you can do that for everything, for all all steps of the game, right? All stages of the game, um, yeah. you're just gonna win, right? So that was really good, right? That it shows me that you can do it. You know how to do it, and you can do it. Now yeah. we have to make sure that we discipline ourselves so that you can do it every time, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, 
and not only that but also uh not only the mechanics but also the kind of non mechanics the 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 knowledge side the knowledge of the game to right like do, um, yeah, to do whatever so Just you guys like, Baron, like right exactly okay so you, you pot so you say oh you want to fight what's the best you can get you in kind of instinctively know but you need to always say it after something happens right you always need to vocalize it or make sure you know what you want right um because sometimes Harry can't do anything to stop this so like right, getting right. killing him just like, um, like wait wait and then tempo, like whatever the second thing is execution what's the best thing we can get baron how do we get it uh i think you want to wait for a tank before starting yeah, this but yeah, yeah. um i thought yeah, this gonna be awkward. faster or like they just get here faster but like yeah, we want to wait for a out, tank yeah. right because yeah. they can't they, they're all dead right it's pve yeah. right yeah. if you die to this it's like leroy jenkins right it's like oh shit <laughs> yeah. um pve <laughs> so but it didn't really matter but make sure that you do uh make sure the execution is at least uh somewhat planned because um you know we've seen people that are barren and then that's like a game throw right so yeah. uh that's kind of awkward um or people overextend for inhibitors or some shit like that, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, people are like, oh, we want the inhibitor, but then they start chasing the support, right? Uh, not part of the plan, so you kind of fucked up. So yeah. don't do that, right? So good. That, that last fight was really clean. Um, and then, okay, what's the plan now, right? So we're going to keep uh, doing this because so you got to do this every yeah, time. The plan is to set up for dragon now because it's a mountain dragon, I think. It's a good dragon. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we could potentially like get a tower, but we have supers in the bot wave, so... Like, I know one of the things, like, I, I see it all the time in pro play, right? If the losing team gets a Baron, they actually just push out the super, like, the, in, the, in their down and inhibitor, they push the uh, super minion wave. Exactly, that's, exactly. Which, right. which is what I'm trying to do here. Oh, it's an Inferno, actually, which is even better, yeah, so. That's nice, that's nice. But, so, so here, um, so here I, I know we need to have bot lane priority before we can contest this. So I'm telling them, like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going bot, and I go bot. Because they're super here, right? They're going to push into our base and take our next towers if I don't do this. So I have to do this, I think. So I think or, I okay. Chill for a um, but when a fight breaks out, isn't it you know reasonable to say uh, you need to help the fight and then come fix right. this yeah. after the fight's over, right? Yeah. So Ideally, when you see yeah. something going on, yeah, yeah. yeah when you see I'll, something I'll going on, you got to go home. I'll, okay, I'll okay. good, 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 good. Right. So you say, I'm going to clear this wave while you guys try and look for something. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, bad. Okay. So, okay. so here, so here if I, it's actually not bad because work is so Ooh. So here, you I, can, actually, uh, I, I do this. I'm not sure what's going on here. But, right, right, right. So uh, what's wrong with this one, though? Uh, well, I'm not using all, for, I'm not using my stealth for anything useful. I'm just using it for extra damage. Although, I think there, in, th in that case, that was okay. Because the extra damage gets Jace, like, shut, killed before the Terra Cough goes off, goes off. So maybe it was okay. But... but is it okay if you didn't have that plan in your head, right? Um, right. What's the plan? Uh, you the just plan wanted damage? I mean, Jace, okay. He's, he's, I say that's reasonable. Yeah reasonable um, um here, here they're all like so i, I wait out the Terra all so johnny misses all and i'm like okay well now this is free rengar gx gets popped so right I, right if you say this damage is necessary to win this fight so i flash over that's fine yeah. right um and you didn't need it for anything else that's yeah. that's perfectly fine right and you guys uh, take you guys t take this oh, mm -hmm. what's going on this was questionable but so our warwick went to go which is fine. And we, this we is fine. This, it was close, this yeah. is fine. Right? How can um, they stop you? And, uh, right? so, so, so yeah, here our TF is lagging. So oh, <laughs> what, what are you doing? Like, Yo, you just yeah, yeah, just get the fuck out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah. so what's the plan now? Right? What's the, um, you always gotta find out what's the plan? Dragon, like they're they're about to respond, so I go buy my QSS now because now it's like it's gonna be really important. Um, mm, okay, here, 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 what's going I on here? For their for their camps because like their main threats aren't alive yet. And I feel like, and I have a blue, a blue trinket, so I'm, I'm gonna do this. Put my blue trinket like in a place where I can defend myself. If yeah, like I can tell when they're coming. And since isn't the, it reasonable like, to assume that uh, Rengar STP is just gonna uh, kill you or something? I don't know. Yeah, Me, he probably he might not have had it or something, but be very cautious when um, doing something like this. Yeah, because they could have a flank or whatever. He just. But more importantly, the plan. What was the plan? And then uh you know execute it right so you didn't know what you wanted to do until after you started backing right you're like oh i want camps now um yeah, you should have gone right. for that immediately right right, right, right. Um, so that way you go. don't get caught by anything crazy right because yeah. i was like oh shit tp into like use my jungle word earlier so that like if they are trying to stop me then right 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 right, right. exactly exactly um uh, i don't know what i bought here i think i actually bought randoons here yeah because interesting yeah. interesting so, so the, the reason i went for this is because Jace and and Rengar like Rengar has that guaranteed crit out. I saw he went IE right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a response to the IE actually, because uh, that one that one crit out of his ult 
plus best place rock is like gonna really hurt us, right? Seems so, good to me. I approve, if, right? If I, Armor if I, against. If I survive, if I survive yeah. that, I, I just killed the end of their entire team, right? Yeah, they literally have no magic damage, so this is this is a okay, right? This is great. Um, what's going on here? Uh, I hope oh, Olaf has TP. If you guys are like yeah, up so in their see. face, I also I chose to buy the the, the wardens. Part. That's so fine, that, right? You want the armor part. You yeah. want the armor part. Um, Dude. you don't need HP. You need armor, especially for the uh dust play shit, the armor pen stuff. Yeah. What is going uh, on? What am I watching? Um, so, so, so Vanguard is just like all thing here, but. They, they, they can't yeah, actually up. fight us because our war is such a big tank, especially mm. with Lulu all. Like, the war basically carried this game. But. Right. Basically, if you don't die, you just auto-win the game, right? You just hit the closest guy, they can't do anything. Yeah. So, oh, baby! So, so I eat the, the stun, but That's it fine. matter. That's fine. Right. Intense. You had your plan. Your plan is QS is a stun. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So what's going on here? That's awkward. So here, um, I, I noticed that my my uh, Warwick is getting cut out a bit here. But then Jace walks right after the wall, so it's... Yeah, that was good. But remember the whole using abilities thing, right? Yeah. Um, the maybe, maybe, maybe you could have used it later or something. I don't know. But yeah. uh, be very careful, right? Because you are getting away with it now. But like, this this is that exact play that you didn't get away with earlier, right? Um, this is only this is actually pretty good because uh, your alt's gonna be useful for the next what is it, twelve seconds or something? So that's yeah. good. But earlier in the game, you have to realize that. That's not when Vayne is strong, right? So right, you can't right. you can't yeah, use it yeah. as liberally, if that makes yeah, any sense. Right, because right. um, I have a lower cooldown. I have to reset this yeah. on the all. It's kind of like you're playing early game like you're late game, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. The, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's, well, that's actually bad game because like, I, I, I feel like I'm not yet... Just, it's like three items, like that, that and around the, the, the like level 13 or so within three items just feels so good. Because you get the mm. attack speed, you get the damage, you just like you can do it. something, right? You yeah, can, you can kill something. people. You, you, your yeah, you, like, you, you press R, someone's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, exactly. Like, so yeah. that's 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 how you know when you want to fight, right? Yeah. Um, when you say so that could be a way you want to know when you fight. You know, remember how we talked about abilities and it's flash, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've ultimate, I flash. I want to fight. Uh, also, when that champion is strong during the game, right? Yes, exactly. So, power spikes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Power spikes. Um, like you said, look, three items. Oh, now you want to fight, right? Um, always keep that in mind too. Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, so, yeah, but I think you're gonna get away with this. Yeah, I'll, I get away, but uh, I didn't anticipate such wanting being here, so like I have to just hide away a little bit. So because here, like we, we almost kill, but we want to tear against that of like one of their carries. But I wasn't in range to hit anyone important. Yeah, this. And, I mean, yeah, yeah, I did not see this working out. So like, maybe I could have like gone in further, but that would have been a higher risk play. That would require me to like, it probably would have required me to have a flash because I would have to get away from like there's Jason and Caitlyn there, right? And I can't tank both of them. I would. I mean, honestly, I would have said like, hold on to your ult, right? Um, why? Because they might get baited into chasing, and you ult, right. and then you, yeah, you the ult three is, shot them. Yeah, because I, I, I only recently, like, um, sorry to be using the word like too much, but I only recently got it through my head that the 30, 50, 70, 80 from my ult is a lot stronger against squishies than tanks. Right, 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 right. Like, exactly, like, exactly. Right? exactly. Yeah. So, um, so here I see that they went top to kill TF, so I their camp. That's fine, right? Uh, so this would be an example of what's my plan? Steal this camp, run away. Something yeah. happens, you saw them chase. My plan changes to steal the red and then run yeah, away, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, that's how we make our decision making clean, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever watched these like uh, Korean challenger replays? Yes. They very rarely turn around to do something else, right? Because they know exactly what they want. Um, yeah, yeah. They come yeah, up with yeah, it beforehand. Got, they know I watched, exactly what I they want. Like a bunch of because uh, I use the main mid. It's, uh, I'm happy. Yeah, I have a lot of Victor or a cast games, mm -hmm. and that was from watching Baker Champion. I watched <laughs> so many games. Like, of yeah. Baker. So like, I actually like. I feel, I feel like I played mid better on a macro level. But, that's like, pretty funny. Recently, I switched back to AD because I, I have the most. I have like seven hundred and eighty thousand points on main in Massive. Mode, so damn. Like, she's my most comfortable champion, and she's she was pretty strong in the Arden meta because everyone play, plays passive lanes. You get a free farm lane. You scale mm -hmm. the three items. You win the game. Um, but now, there was an opportunity there, but it was pretty meme. Um, what was that for uh, you're, you're okay. So remember, I was talking about power specs and stuff. Yeah. Um, if you are at this point, if you see Rengar alt is down, what kills you? Sejuani alt. Okay, you have QSS, so you press R and you run at them, and then what happens? Uh, you're gonna kill them. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna pressure them hard enough for someone to want to turn around, and then yeah. when they turn around, your team catches up, right? Oh, um, oh I see. So yeah, yeah. there's like, exactly. don't worry about stuff like that because that kind of gets, uh, uh. 
It's the same thing, right? You come up with a plan and you execute, right? I'm going to use right. my ult, run at them, I, auto attack. I have and QSS here. And yeah, exactly. Vengeance. Exactly. And actually, thank you. Good advantage. Um, but don't worry about stuff like that. We, we, we want to focus about like minim We want to focus All on right. minimizing mistakes because yeah. it's very clear that you can already do stuff like that, right? From mm -hmm. these last like three fights, you already know how to play late game. But I don't, I don't need to tell you how to do that. I need to tell you how to hold on to your abilities. You know, make sure you yeah. always have a plan, and then yeah. like don't you know, push your advantage, basically. right? Um, and minimize the fallout. Yeah. No. Um, so, so here yeah. we actually do an, an interesting little play. Like our, our plan here, like is, is that they might rotate the dragon. Right. This is really good. I think it's really good. So right. we just go on them. I I I quit K for most of her HP. I fail flash here, but it doesn't matter. This is a, this is really good, right? Because what 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 was the value of your Q ultimate? You took out all of her HP, right? Uh, yeah, so so that was she really good. out the fight immediately. Uh, it's fucking dead. Are oh, you getting flash for it? That was good. I think yeah, that was so good. Right. So they they lost. The they they, they <laughs> lost. Yeah. yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, so I so come yeah. back to kill Vanguard and I tell them to like to just I, I go straight for the wave, right? Right, right, right. Um, honestly, don't worry about the late game team fights and stuff. I think uh you're already past your level for that right as you can see but make sure that you can get to that point right yeah you gotta um, get there. Yeah, yeah and make sure that you know when you're strong because when you're strong you can do shit like that but when you did it like earlier it was like not gonna work right yeah. um so really good the last few fights was like really good so i don't really have to tell you anything about that but for the uh the early game mid game uh general concept stuff i think the biggest thing to work on is holding on to your abilities right you can't just randomly use it right because what is tumble and lane worth um not uh, much versus tumble right now which is uh, it's like a half of Kaylin's health right yeah so um you want to use your tumble to dodge stuff right and here yeah. you want to just fucking win the game with it right yeah exactly um, it, big it, difference it, yes because now it gives you the extra damage on turrets and stuff too so exactly just, yeah. exactly so make sure that when you're uh fighting or you try you you want to know when you want to fight right first yeah. do you want to fight second uh, you need to save your abilities for good value, right? Yeah. Um, make sure that every time you use an ability, it's for exactly what you wanted, right? Um, and then make sure that uh, uh, don't really double down on the when do you want to fight because uh, very obvious you want to fight late game, so you tumble into their face. Uh, very obvious you don't want to fight early mid game, but uh, sometimes you didn't recognize that, so you kind of tried to fight, but it was like uh, not gonna work. And then yeah. um, always have your plan and then update it whenever something happens because that will definitely fix some of the uh, missteps slash you isn't really sure what you wanted to do because if you yeah. update that always and you say what's the best thing I can do right now it'll help you re-examine what you're doing right so if you are like trying to roll mid and then you're like oh what's the plan now we're gonna try and help this gank out but if it doesn't work I'm gonna go back bot uh you wouldn't have like ulted or something right um yeah. hopefully um so that'll like really clean that up but uh for those besides those big things is there anything else you want to talk about uh so, I, I've been trying to pick up Tristana, play a little Twitch, and Ash is my second like main, but Ash is kind of bad in this meta, I think. Um, I, I just feel like I have less, like, I always win lane, like, Ash wins lane really easily, but I have trouble um, winning the game with her, so. Uh, you know what my bet is on uh, your Ash? What? Like, using arrows, but it doesn't, like kill someone right okay yeah ability ability yeah. value ability, ability value, value is yeah, uh yeah. one of your that's issues that's probably the biggest thing yeah I, feel mm. like I, I use abilities too loosely wait this is diamond five right yeah uh, plat one but i'm trying to i'm, I'm, I'm oh plat one plat one plat oh close close but yeah that's a very common issue i see with the uh lower tier platinum players is this very issue right um and you're also like close to that level right platinum one is pretty close it's like yeah. next door yeah next door neighbor uh, yeah, yeah. um so I, I've, been, I've been hyped out. So I, I actually like before I reviewed this bot of myself, I was stuck between like plat one low LP and plat two. I kept dropping, and then I I won like four games in a row to climb back to plat one. And after I reviewed this before before with you like by myself, I actually like now I'm like high plat one and always like one game away from promo. So I'm actually <laughs> I've improved a bit here, but close this, close this the, the next step, right? This this is this is this is like pretty like if you work on these. The two things I, I mentioned, we'll, we'll review it again, but um, the two things I mentioned, uh, I think those are like the biggest things that will help you. You know, see the most, like that's like more, more than half your play, like more, more of the majority of your play are those things. And if you can like fix that, it'll be very clear improvements in my so, opinion. Uh, 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 ability value and like having a plan, right? 
Right, right, right. Um, I mean, and then, and then, like a third thing is like, uh, make sure you know when you want to fight. All right, that's part of having a plan, right? Because yeah. if your plan is to fight, and you're like, wait, what do I fight with? I have no ultimate. Right, uh, right, exactly. It'll, it'll, it'll. it'll they, so they're like kind of inter intermingled. Summoners, some, I have all summoners advantage. Right. Like oh, and here's a big one too. Here's a big one too. If you don't know, if like you said, you don't know what the clear good play is. You play conservative, right? You you hold back and keep as many cards as you can, uh, because if you like waste it, then you're you have you have no options when they make a mistake, right? Um, you have no options if if uh, they make a mistake. Right. So save uh, abilities for oh. play. <laughs> as as we speak, this play is going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this is just really bad. Yeah. So I I actually I'm a big chess like aficionado and I. That that resonates very well with me because if you don't see an attack for, like of an obvious attack or something like that, you consolidate your own position on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, like, exactly. You want to have counterplay to think like you want to see what the enemy's doing. Like, don't fall into a, a good way right? to like look at lead, to look at lead. Yeah, agreed. The enemy's trying to do something. It's tic tac toe, right? If they do this, I do this, right? It's just that league also is in real time, kind of. Yes. So. Yes. Um. Yeah, I play I play chess a lot too when I was younger, and that's that's exactly how I see the game, right? Uh, if they do this, we need to do this, and then how do we formulate our plan of attack, right? If you take their queen, how can you push that advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Um, utilize your queen, something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that is that that is a good way to see the game, in my opinion. But um, yeah, definitely work like in order to like improve on this, right? Um, try and tell yourself. What is my plan right now? What is my plan right now? What is my plan right now? Right? Ahead, um, yeah. And then once you can do that for all the major things you talked about, like, oh, Baron was taken, what's my plan right now? Or someone died bot, what's the plan right now? Once you can do that every game, right? Um, we, I, I think that would take like five games maybe. Uh, keep that going. And then you say, um, okay, I need to save my abilities until I see something really obvious, right? I'm going to mm -hmm. save my abilities until I can visualize this play. And then, mm -hmm. uh, not on, on like on top of your having a plan, you're gonna be able to do that. And then that's that's like free. That's like free diamond, right? Um, from where you are, at least. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I would hope so. I have like a week left to do it. So. Right, right, right. So uh, I don't know how often you play, but uh, obviously the more games you play, you'll be able to practice this more, right? right. Um. So yeah. Uh, anything else? I think you said you want to talk about like macro stuff before we yeah, if you, if you wrap this up. Can we look at uh just. B bits and pieces of a replay from the client. Online. Yeah, 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 cool, cool. Can you screen share that because yes. I can't see that? Okay, cool. Um, Let's see that real quick, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Yep, yeah, sounds good. Let me get it loaded up real quick. Interesting. So this is from a game where uh, we got really screwed. Um, All right, I have it. I have it uploaded. Let me just share this with you. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see when, how this works. Uh, is this working? Yes, I can see. It. Okay, let's bring this over. Okay. Nice. So here, I'm, here, uh, I'm I'm playing uh, Lane Lulu with my duo into uh, let's crank Ferris. So. Uh, a bit of a hard lane because they have a lot of all in potential on us. Um, but yeah, let me just fast forward a little bit. Okay. How do I do this? Plus, plus. Uh, let me focus on myself. Wait. Uh, w then. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Nice. Okay. So this happens level one. Uh, blitz flashes on me, and I flash away. That's I fine. I probably could have right. just queued, but I wanted to be safe. Yeah. Honestly, that's that's fine. Seems good. Seems good. Okay. Uh, we leash for J4. So now you have no flash. You know that it may be questionable to push up yes. if they have an S0. But, you know, maybe you can because Blitz has no flash too. So Yeah, yeah. Who so knows? I would that... say you can push up, but uh, don't take damage because okay. um, you'll get, you just died as so, so, so here, this is happening. Oh, this is free. Uh, How can you lose? You yeah. just kill them. Because even if he hooks, right, I feel like we win the trade. Right, right, right. So this is one of those things where you say, how do we play this lane matchup? And you say, oh, they're very weak level one. So yes. we can just... So, so, like, so now we, 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 we looked at HP. Varus already burned his potion. Blitz is like like low HP. Um, we should just win this now, right? Right. So you burn your potion and you say, 
uh, we're gonna pressure them to make Ezreal come here, and then we're gonna escape the gank, right? Yeah. So that's sounds about sounds about right, right? And then you so, can since they're solo, you can probably pressure them uh, off, right? Yeah, so what happened right, here? Right. Wait, pause. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, didn't, I just saw you use tumble, right? So uh, not having that pressure means you can't do exactly what you wanted, right? Um, I don't know how we can go back. I think it's like escape, but that's like ten seconds. So um, uh, backspace is like fifteen seconds. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty rip. But anyways, like what you said, you wanted a you got the advantage. How do you push it? Um, oh, what's going on now? Okay, we lost the uh, champions. That's awkward. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, we'll just restart real quick. Yeah, 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 it'll be fine. But I just wanted to point out that's like uh, exactly yeah, what yeah, we saw in this yeah. replay. So what I should be doing with Tumble is pressuring them. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, find like the... you can walk up to Blitzcrank and then you tumble his hook, right? So that's the that's the plan. Without yeah. Tumble, it's very hard to walk in without dying to Ezreal gank. Or something right, like so, that. So, right, so the, the, the thing that I should be concerned with here the only thing that I should really be concerned with is using Q to dodge his Q, right? Right, or you could say uh, Varus is he, right? Or Varus is Q or something right. like that. Um, as long as you have it for something, right? You, you, you can't say, uh, I wanted to use it to push minions because that's not the best thing you can get, right? right, right. That's a suboptimal yeah. um, so, so, yeah. right. option. So, so all this happens, and all right, so... Um, he gets like first blood top or something, so you know so, right. uh, he's not here. Oh, that that right there, yeah, that right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. He's, uh, your Lulu's going in, right? So it's like, uh, oh, yeah, it's uh, right here. If 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 yes, I tumble towards Varus while Blitz Q is still, well, it, it's up, but like it doesn't really matter because you can barrier and heal and whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. barrier or whatever. Right. So okay. So if I had tumbled there and then I tumble, you don't have to. You don't have to tumble him, right? Remember, we just, just, want to save it for up, Blitz Q. Auto, yeah. yeah, just walk up an auto, right? He has no options, so. Right. Um, and then not only that, but if you get the auto off, you get the auto attack reset, right? Yes, so that's yes. that's uh that's the best so, value yeah, you can so get. One of my problems is that like I, whenever people like an ADC goes into CS, sometimes I'll tumble up to auto them for the trade to to to, to, to give them a damage for the CS. But instead of tumbling up, I can just walk up, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Tumble for a counter yeah, play, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, like remember. It, it, it's free and easy, but that, that, that leaves me no counterplay for like for like hooks or like exactly the other exactly. or shit like that, right? Okay. If yeah. you had six items, you know, right. different right, stories. So, so, so right there. That, that was good, right? That was really that was really good. Yeah. Right? Now now they can't now they can't do anything yeah, while you yeah. push them in. Yeah. See, yeah. it's about pressure, right? And yeah. whenever you waste or miss, you lose pressure. Like what is this, right? Yeah, There's yeah. literally no fear. Yeah, yeah. You use tumble to do damage, right? Because you yeah, know he right. can't hook yeah, you. He, he can't hook you. Yeah, very, very clear example right there. So that was uh, good. So, so right now, like, this looks good. Like, we, we should smash them. If you die here, it's because you have no HP, right? Like we talked about. Yeah. Um, Ezreal has a lot of damage. So, any Ezreal right. gank, uh, you want right. to stay healthy. Having so, no flash can be okay if uh, yeah. Blitz has no flash. Let's just push this forward. So, so we know Ezreal is bot side now, I think. I think, I think I'm aware of it. He can um, maybe be bot side, right? You don't know for sure, but he can be bot side. Yeah. So. Oh, so Ezreal gets a deep ward on us. We we back off a bit. Um. Oh wait, and Ezreal's like behind us. Okay, I I actually ha had no idea about this. Okay. I mean, this is still fine, right? As long as you know that. Okay, oh, yeah. you still so, win so, this. So, so, uh, oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I should not have tumbled there. Yeah, you should not have tumbled because now you're gonna get hooked or something, or he's gonna land the second Q on you and you're gonna die, right? So, um, remember, use it. What are we using it for? Yeah. So. Dodge plus crank Q. Yeah, and then if a as your game comes, what do you dodge it? Use it for dodge blitz crank Q or as your Q or whatever, SQ, right? Q, yeah. You're just gonna die if you get hit by that shit. So it was yeah. really good until you use your tumble, right? Remember, when you use abilities, you need a very clear. You need a. It has to be very obvious, or if you can't see it, right? He came for a gank and you used it on reaction, right? You're just like, oh, I need to get away. That's not how right. it works, right? Um, it has to be very obvious, or you have to have a pre-planned visualization, right? So, so, so all right, let's let's go back to here. I'll put it on super slow. So, right. so the blitz starts to so so as you all hits me with a Q from from Bog of War, and I can't avoid that. That's fine. And and, and Lulu speeds herself up. And That's I fine. Tumble here. So That's not instead, fine. <laughs> instead of tumbling there, what I could do is condemn blitz away because he's the main threat here, right? right. Um, well, what's what's the problem with that one? Well, I leave myself no. Well, okay, if I condemn him away, and he grabs me at the same time. I'm gonna go even farther back. So. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. So that that's not an option, right? Because he can hook you the instant you do the animation. Yeah. So, so this is a hard situation. Because then this is hard. Because if I just keep walking back, like Blitz closes closes on me with his W. You're gonna get away. You, you know, you, we, you should not know that you get away. Red buff here. Yeah, yeah, but he, you're a little less heal, and then it doesn't matter if he closes distance. If your Q is used to dodge his hook, right? 
It doesn't. It shouldn't matter that he's closing distance. You just walk away here, and then you, Ezreal can't kill you because you have barrier, right? So if you get Q here, there's no way he has oh, this. Right? Oh, the only way he hits you is I, he predicts I, I, it. I had Lulu heal, Lulu healed. Yeah. Honestly, you uh, didn't even need Lulu opinion. heal, but yeah. uh, that would have made it free anyways, right? Lulu heal makes it for sure you get away, right? Yeah. So the answer is yes. You want to get ganked because you're drawing pressure from the jungle, right? right. But then um, you gotta you gotta use your like stuff correctly right you gotta make sure how you know you get away from this gank right so yeah. that, that flash was kind of awkward because he didn't need to use it yeah. um but the un the thing is like uh remember you want to use your abilities for specific reasons yes. before the the thing happens right before uh whatever can happen happens right so uh when rengar ulted you're like oh run along the wall and then go invisible and then condemn him right that's yeah. exactly what you want to do but if you're if this if you're watching a bronze five vein and they just get like rengar ulted and then uh, they're next to the wall, but they didn't know that they wanted to do that. Uh, they're going to die, right? Yeah. They have no idea. Um, so you have to make sure that uh, you know exactly what you want, right? And if you right. did not expect it, you're donezo, right? So right. you got to predict as many... You got to come up with as many situations as possible, right? You have like you have like five minutes um, during like champion, champion select and like loading screen. And then not only that, when you're backing and when you're buying or when there's downtime, when you're pushing in, you still have time to think about stuff like that, right? So there's always... Um, there's always a way to figure it out, but uh, if you don't, then it's like that's how you kind of fall into uh, uh, awkward situations. Right. So, so make sure, they basically the big idea is I need to use my abilities and yeah. better save my abilities for counterplay. Right. For for you specifically, I would say don't play on your instinct for the first like two items or whatever. Right. And then okay. after that, go wild. Right. I don't, it seems good I, to I me. I feel like my right. instinct, like for once I get items, is quite good. Like, yeah, I, it's I good. Know. It's good. I see. I think it's good. Um, but before that, it's like, uh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that because okay. it doesn't. It's not. It's not. Um, okay. It's not. Doesn't. Doesn't work that way, right? Yeah, so you're really weak until mm -hmm. until you get items. All right. Make sure there's that clear distinction, yeah. right? The early mid game, very clean, and then late game, you can kind of slack off on that and work on something else because uh, yeah. that's not your issue. That's not holding you back yet, right? So right, right. don't worry about that yet. Um, the, the, the the blitz is like, like fucking the, our middle. Yeah, the roam here, right? Remember what can you oh, get? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. It's not. It's nothing. It's nothing. Right. And so. I actually get baited here. So watch uh, this. this is awkward. Oh, okay, so, tumbling, right? What happens when you tumble? You can't reposition. Um, oh, well, this is awkward. I, I repositioned the tumble for the condemn. I would have won this without the, the blitz grab, so I got baited. No, oh, that's but awkward. I also knew blitz was on the way back, so yeah. Like, I, I, was just, I guess I was just hoping to dodge the hook. Ba basically, you if you save as much stuff as possible, it'll give you as many openings as possible. Right. right? I think um, I had flashback up then, so if I had if I had uh, anticipated the blitz grab and flashed. I would have yeah, told yeah, yeah. anything like that, that but, but um yeah this just the the real problem is that just don't go up there right because there's nothing yeah, going up there is risky because right? i don't know where the yeah, jungler yeah. is i know plus queen's on my back so if they're junglers so i gotta got think if they're jungler here then i'm just gonna die right what's the best thing you can get so what happened mid died or whatever died uh right, right. what's the plan now right what's the best thing you can do um can you clean up the answer is no so you don't go right right um the best thing that could happen is like, yeah so there's the, like the a lot of fallout going on me, but like even then, I'm gonna lose minions under tower to to Ferris pushing it in, so yeah. that's no point really. Yeah. Even even then, you're not gonna get them because uh, they have more people, right? Yeah, they're exactly. just gonna okay, yeah. they're gonna come help him, so it's kind of awkward. Okay. How do you stop him from just like running away? I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't. Um, yeah. and then tumbling here, right? Common thing. Um, yeah. you can't help this gank. But it probably wasn't gonna work anyways, right? So it's whatever. But yeah. um, just so, remember, so. keep in mind, it's a very important ability, right? Because what can Vayne do? Uh, you can only tumble. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, you're just dead. Yeah. Well, I actually get away from it from, from, from it this time, but I had to blow both suns. And... Yeah, so that's still pretty rip. Um, yeah, I'm level four. He's level six. Like this lane is by far over. Like there's nothing I can do anymore. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. And that, uh, that all came from the first Ezreal gank, really. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's all about the first. It's still the same concepts we talked about, right? Um, the plan would have told you you don't want to roam mid, so you wouldn't have uh, right. wasted time slash died slash missed plan XP. Also, would have told me that I don't Q. For no reason when, when Ezreal exactly shows up. exactly yeah. holding on to your abilities would have told you right. Ezreal shows up oh that's fine right we walk away um because yeah, Ezreal has no cc of his own so i don't have to yeah. like the only thing i have to worry about is dodging blitz hook right like, yeah or or the damage right which is why i said low hp might be an indicator of a death by Ezreal but um that's that's you you guys had high hp so i was like oh you just walk away right that's how you know right beforehand so, so if, if i played the first game properly that I, I shouldn't have that like even though i didn't have flash i, I shouldn't have that right yeah you're just yeah like, yeah unless blitz like 
Pretty there's nothing they could have done, right? If this is tic tac toe, uh, there's literally no way they can do it, right? They're just well, holding on to their no, abilities no, in case that you make a mistake. Way, right? Blitz would have to predict my tumble. There's no guaranteed way, right? right. Yeah, Blitz, right. Blitz would have to walk up somehow and then be in like hook range wherever you tumble, and then Lulu also had to not use heal or slow him, right? This is, doesn't right. seem very good, right? right. To me. So, so, um, so, so, okay, so it's just me, like, yeah, I, I admitted, I, I know. Because I fucked up the first game, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's 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 the whole game right here, right? In the yeah, first, yeah. that's the whole game in eight minutes. So um, don't worry about anything yeah, that happens I mean, after yeah, this. This is over. Like it's yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. It's just not, like, not much you can get, do. I get so so tilted, yeah, oh okay. god, oh god. Yeah, of course. Cool. What are they gonna do with the Chris? They're gonna come by, yeah, like, right? Well, so. This doesn't matter. Like we, I just got fucked the rest of the game. Yeah, don't worry about that shit. So um, uh, worry about that's. Oh, you use Sublime. Are you a programmer? A uh, programmer. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah. Uh, basically, it's the same. It's, what I saw is the same thing, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think if you can definitely focus on that, um, uh, you will see like rapid improvement, right? Just make right. sure that you focus on improving that Sounds those good. things, right? Yeah. Um, it's okay if like something goes down a little because you're focusing on it, like you're you miss like a few extra CS or whatever. As long as you're making sure that these things are improving, right? And then make sure that once you've got the feel for it, yep. you it's not it's not like oh I have it forever. You have to keep doing it, right? It's, yep. it's, yep. Like, it's about building habits. So. Got um, it. All right. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Um, sorry for the delays. No and, worries. Uh, thank thank I you hope... for agreeing to look at the game with me a little bit more. Oh, okay. of course, of course, no problem. Um, and it's like a few extra minutes is like whatever. <laughs> Honestly, like what, I'm just gonna play league anyway. So um, right. I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. Um, I would only like. I would only like stick a lesson to one hour if it was just like a rip, you know. Um, of course, of course. So, I see. Uh, I see, uh, 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 what's it called? Potential. You see potential. In, uh, your improvement, so. Thank you, okay, I, I'm glad. I, I see it too, because that's why I'm trying so hard, but <laughs> so sometimes sometimes I mess up and it, it's a cloudy day, but as long as I keep, like, I, I don't, I have a pretty strong mentality, because uh, y- you're in California, right? Mm, I'm in Canada right now. Oh, can oh, you're in Canada, right, 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 yeah. Um, I went through a lot of mental grinding in college, so I have some decent like mental stamina. For that is good because uh, a lot of kids in this game do not have mental stamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. If you don't have mental stamina, you can't even like work on improving shit because you're just gonna tilt it off. You, you don't even know what you're bad at. Like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you don't know that, then it's just it's over. All right. Exactly. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed having me as a student. I really enjoyed having you. Thank you. Thank you. I might even like if I can get significantly better to the point where I can work on like more things then i might talk to you again or something like that nice 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 good luck on the uh end of season push right you got a week so i believe you can do it you're like you're like next day you're like next door right you said like one game away from promos yeah yeah. so i believe it can happen uh let me know how things go if you ever have any other questions like uh, you're like i'll follow your stream and i'll probably even sub to you actually especially because i think you're you're kind of on the salt yeah pretty pretty small yeah. Um, especially since uh, we haven't streamed in the last three months, so uh, that's oh, kind of awkward. Oh, well, there uh, you go. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, get, get that to it then. All right. But yeah, uh, let me know how things go. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Bye. Have a good night. You too.